For some of you, it's afternoon. It's not even noon where I'm at yet. But welcome, welcome. Let me get this screen taken care of. I did put into the uh, pinned comment and into the chat bar the link needed to fill out any information if you haven't done so already. So if you're new, welcome, welcome. Um, if you're not, welcome back. Um, I didn't include this stream into the group today, um, only because that way they'll jump over here and we don't have to do the whole Facebook user on the screen. Everybody can see who everybody is. So I'll give you guys a few minutes. I do have to do the tickets going into the owl. Um, I can explain that if there's new people here so that they have an idea of what goes on uh, here on the booty check if it's your first time here. So um, I know I'm on a little earlier today than usual. Usually I come on in a little bit in the afternoon, but today I needed to come on a little bit earlier, so it was set for 11 o'clock. So anyhow, uh, welcome in. Hey, Truly. I was going to tell you, by the way, Truly, we have a nephew. Well, he's a second nephew, I guess what you call it, or a great nephew. Uh, his name is True. So, pretty cool. You guys kind of have the same name, truly and true. Deborah, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Um, so, I do have all of the tickets here from the last sale. So, uh, if you're not familiar with what this is, this is my owl. Um, every sale, um, I make a ticket for every invoice that's paid. And it goes into the owl. Um, and what happens is, is at the end of the month, I pull one name out of the owl and we see who, who is the customer appreciation awarded to for that month. Okay. Has nothing to do with who picks what or what. It's just random. Um, but the way that you get into here is by, uh, you just have to make one purchase. You don't have to, but that's how you get in here. You make a purchase, you pay your invoice. Then there is a ticket with your name on it put into the owl. Okay. So, uh, for the last sale and again i'm going to do combined sales moving forward um as of january of this year um i'm going to go live on uh, monday tuesday wednesdays not always every one of those days usually consistently on wednesday i will almost always be live on a wednesday um the mondays and tuesdays um, it allows me to bounce. If I need to bounce, I can go to other people's channels. Um, I can fit in other lives uh, here on my channel. And so that is my that is my plan. So I only am going to be invoicing on Thursdays. So you will be able to combine all of those different sales that I do all into one invoice. It allows you maybe to hit that $100 mark and uh, get that 10% off of your total as well. So anyhow, here is from the last sale. Last sale, there is tickets for Alma, for my Auntie Alma. We have one for uh, Rain Mom, Jocelyn, Danny, Scooter, Ronnie, Leslie M. I just dropped the whole strand. <clears throat> Leslie M. Um, hello, Bethel. Julie M. Kathy E, Bonnie, uh, Steadfast Renee, Clarissa, Rosa, Justine, Lynn N, Jane, uh, Michelle L, um, Auntie Sash, um, a little old, a little new, uh, James, oops, Tina, um, Carmen M, Brenda G, Spirit Junkie, Cool Ranch, Amy L, Colleen, Rochelle, Mama Ames, Leslie Hall, uh, Charlene, Kathy S, and Yvette. So thank you, thank you. You are the beginning of January. So those go in here. So all through the month of January. Every purchase will get a ticket. Every invoice, I should say, every paid invoice gets a ticket. It goes into here. At the end of the month, I will pull out one name, and that's my customer appreciation for the month, for that month. 
Um, I switched it over. Instead of sending prizes, you just will be awarded booted bucks for the um, for the month. It's fifteen. Um, I also do quarterly, and so every quarter I will do a drawing. Uh, what is in here every month is emptied into that gold cage that you see up there. It's like a bingo cage. Uh, these are all emptied in there monthly. Um, that's mixed up. So every quarter I'll pull one out of there and that one will get 30 booted bucks awarded to them. And that's my customer, customer appreciation for the quarter. Okay, so if you ever see the owl and it's got a big old strand of tickets and I didn't name them off and I didn't show you guys, remind me, hey, we got tickets that need to go into the owl, okay? But usually it will be up here uh, after after Thursdays. There'll be a big strand sticking out of its mouth. It almost looks like a worm, like it's eating worms. Um, so that's what the tickets are, okay? Um, so if you're new, there's a little explanation about that. My real name is Shelly. I just came up with a name. Oh, well, I got that on, on the, um, I got that on the list. I put your, I put your YouTube name and then your real name next to it for myself, but I wouldn't refer to you as your real name on here unless you like, you're very specific and want to be called by your real name. Um, I try to go by your YouTube name. Only because there's people that do keep that private. And in the midst of moving through the chat quickly, I don't want to mess up and say somebody's real name when they don't really use their real name. So some people are keeping that private for different reasons. Everybody has their reasons. But, um, yeah. And me, you can refer to me as whatever you like when you see me. If you're more comfortable calling me by my real name, knock yourself out. If you want to call me the booted chick, you can call me that. Uh, people call me all kinds of things. Some people just call me chick. Some people people call me booted. Some people call me Rita. Whatever you would like. So by the by the way, my name is Rita. Um, so Mama Ames, welcome. Joyce, welcome. Nancy Smith, welcome, welcome. Listening with your headphones. Good for you, girl. You don't get interrupted. <laughs> um, let's see. And I put the comments on the chat. If this is your first time here and you're watching and you can't make any comments, I have subscriber mode set for 10 minutes. Um, that keeps the trolls out, those trolls that like to put the nasty little things in there. It keeps them out. They're not going to subscribe, so we don't have interruptions that direction. Um, I don't use a moderator uh, like throughout my live. I have a couple people that I've given that um wrench to to help me out when they're able and when they're here and so mama ames is one of those and rose is one of those and scooter renee if you guys know her she's one of those so if they're here they'll take care of the things if i don't see it first and attack it if they're able they do it and i so appreciate them for helping me um nancy stofko welcome welcome girl how was your christmas and new year's i hope it was good Drea, thank you very much. I appreciate you, girl. When you guys see Facebook comments and they've put the hashtag booted, it means that they've shared the live out there. So thank you, thank you, Drea. I appreciate you, girl. Um, so uh, if you're waiting for your subscriber mode to um, that time to lapse, and this is your first time here, please make sure that you have filled out the postable. What the Postable is, is it's a form that I use. It's a service, I guess you could say, that allows me to have your information. If you have a name on the screen that does not match your real name, please make sure to put your screen name in the company line. That allows me to match you with the real details. If not, I'm going to be trying to figure it out and I don't know how to match, for instance, truly with her first name, if that's not her first name. So put your screen name in the company line, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. Some people use different things and different details. So that way I can keep it straight. Um, I don't share your stuff. I still do bump some heads here and there because I don't share your information. And even when I go on another channel, I will tell people, you need to provide me your information. I'm not going to ask so-and-so for your info. If you are able to make a comment in the chat, and you're able to purchase things by claiming, you probably can fill out that form. So uh, it's just a mutual arrangement between you and I, keeping your privacy private, 
and not sharing details. So don't be offended like I'm trying to be some pain in everybody's butt. It's just so that I can keep um, privacy private. Uh, you're not late, girl. You're not late. A new phone. Woo! I like getting a new phone, but then I don't like it because then you always lose data. You always lose pictures or something. You always lose something. And I'm sorry that this is cutting me off. I set this camera for me to be standing. Um, and thank you, Mama Ames. I appreciate you, girl. She goes, I shared you out. Thank you. Okay, let's see. You were busy. Yeah, I think a lot of people were very busy this year. Cool Ranch. Hello, hello. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate you. Yes, only two public live sale groups. Please don't share this anywhere where there's not live sales, okay? Be very mindful where you're sharing. And thank you very much, Nancy. I appreciate you, girl. Okay, so today is going to be a beauty. Yes, please don't claim if you cannot pay, okay? you Your invoice is due on Friday, okay? It's due on Friday. Packages go out Friday and Saturday. Um, I don't do carryovers, holdovers. I don't do layaway. I don't do, um, you know, can you hold it for a month? I don't do any of that. I uh, strictly am, if you're claiming it now, it is due by Friday, okay? Um, you have till Thursday before you'll receive your invoice, but then it's due by Friday, okay? Thank you, Cool Ranch. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you very, very much. But you're always welcome to join in and watch the show. I love you, Rose. I love you, man. If I could hug you right now, girl, I would be hugging you. Okay, here we go. Um, please use your bin numbers. Um, I will tell you how much everything is. This is not an auction. Um, so everything you will know. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, you will know the price of it. When I describe the item, I will give you a word to claim it. Um, some things I have multiples of. Uh, especially several things today. I have multiples of them, so there's more opportunity than just one to grab things. Um, but I do fill them in order, and so in order that they come in on my screen, I only open one screen. I'm not looking at multiple windows. I look at my screen. My screen has timestamps, and that's what I go off of. Please remember, no matter what platform you're on, your comment will always come in first on your screen. That's because that's your stream. That doesn't mean that that's the accurate timestamp on your comment, okay? So just saying, just saying, right? She's so cool. Both of you, you both help me out so much, and I appreciate both of you. Um, but yeah, she's bomb.com, right? Okay, let's see. Um, let me see. I think that's it. So today is beauty. Um, most of it is uh, cosmetics or personal care type items. I have some for men and women. So um, if you're looking to put packages together, um, I know that I always bring that up, but uh, practical gifts are one of my favorite things to do. And so I do like to show things that you can put together and make a beautiful gift for somebody. Hopefully it's an economic gift. It's not something that's gonna break your bank and you're able to uh, put a smile on someone's face or your own. Maybe you need some personal pampering. Um, maybe there's things you might not have done for yourself and you think, oh, maybe I should do that for myself. Who knows? But anyhow, here we go. Um, if you have forgotten your number, please make sure to ask me for your number. I will give you your bin number. Um, if you're new, as soon as you have filled out the form, uh, just let me know in the comments, hey, I filled out the form. Can I have a bin number? And I will give you a bin number. That is your bin number. It doesn't change. Uh, the only way I've changed a bin number is I haven't heard from you in over a year. Um, then I may pull your bin number. Okay. But generally speaking, I only pull bin numbers like every three months. I'll go through. If I've not heard from this person in over a year, then I'll pull a bin number. But usually they're there. Usually. And yes, please remember. A uh, $100 or more invoice, so on your invoice of merchandise, if you have $100 or more, you will automatically, ongoing, never changes, not an ending offer. If you spend $100 or more with me, you automatically get 10% off of your total. 
not $100 of merchandise, including shipping. Shipping is separate. $100 in merchandise or more. You get 10% off the, the whole order. It usually offsets your shipping. All right, I'm going to start at the bottom because I'm fresh at bending right now. And, you know, bending hurts me. So um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start at the bottom and then I'll work up at the top, okay? Because my back is an issue. And today it's really not nice. Um, I was sitting on the chair last night in the kitchen. And those aren't the best chairs to sit in for hours. But I was sitting there for a while um, removing um, cardboard things that you have to pop off of their, the thing that holds them. And um, so I was sitting there for hours last night doing that. Probably a good two two hours doing that. And so now my, my back is not nice. It hates me at the moment. Okay, so in this basket, I have multiple items. Some I have more than one. Some I don't. But um, this basket, as I'm going through this, these are all $3 items. Okay? All $3 items. General Little. What? Michelle, Michelle, Marie. Oh, you're tagging people. Okay. At first I was like, what? I don't get that comment. <laughs> hey, threw me off for a minute, girl. Okay. First item. If you like your setting spray, I have a uh, rose. This one smells like rose. This one is a full size, uh, 4.6 ounce. So it is a full size bottle of setting spray. It is in a rose fragrance. It's not too rosy, but it does have rose. Um, it just makes you feel pretty. It's what you use to set your makeup. Um, it helps for uh, like when you brush up against somebody, your makeup's not going to come off like it would if you don't set your makeup. Um, it also usually will hydrate and help control shine. So that's what setting spray is for. Some people prefer powder. I do have that option as well. But this one is your setting spray. So if you're interested in the setting spray, $3 for the bottle. I have multiples. Um, all you got to do is comment the word rose. Comment the word rose if you want it. It's $3. Okay. Uh, I got you, girl. At first, I was like, what? What? Yes. And Connie, I think the kids went back to school, so she may be at work today. Okay. Here is the next item. Next item um, these, I had purchased these. I prefer my snail slime more. So uh, those of you that know, know that I wear snail slime every day. Um, I like it for the hydration of my skin. I use it basically in place of moisturizer on my face. Um, it's just what I like for my skin. Um, so I really like my snail slime. Um, I did pick up some one that contains snake venom. This is not snail slime. This one, these are sealed in the package. They're just little, they look like kind of like a syringe vial. Looks kind of like a syringe. There's not a whole lot in here. I'm going to tell you the truth on that. There's not a whole lot in here. It's something that you're going to want to use uh, under the skin of your eyes to help give them a little bit of um, hydration. And it helps to relieve the stress that you may be showing under your eyes. I do have three of these. They are sealed. They are unopened. There's a plastic seal on all of these. So I do have three of them available. You can comment the word snake if you want one. And it's three bucks. It's three bucks. So for me, I just prefer my snail slime more um, because I put it everywhere on my face. This one's going to be geared more for under your eyes. So snake if you want it. It's three dollars. You can see right here that it says contain snake venom. If my camera will clear up. There you go. Okay. So snake, if you want those. The book face is mad with me. <laughs> I didn't see Rochelle pop in. Did she pop in? Oh, you're tagging. Never mind. Okay. Um, so there's those. Okay. Next item I have is the banana setting powder. So this is your loose setting powder. This is, um, it's called set and bake loose powder. This one's going to give you a matte finish to your face and also brighten it up. So what this does is you put this on loosely. You, it's like you put a little bit of a layer on. 
your face, especially like your oily spots where you tend to get more oily. And then you let it set for a little bit, maybe while you're um, washing your hands from putting on your makeup, or maybe there's something that you're doing at the last year primping your hair or whatever and then just let it sit for like a minute or so and then you take that same brush and you kind of uh, brush off the excess kind of like rubbing it in at the same time it sets your makeup it uh, mattifies your oily spots and it just makes your uh, overall uh, appearance a little bit brighter so if you like this comment the word banana it does have a light banana fragrance to it, so that's also fun when you're putting your makeup on. Comment the word banana if you want it. It's $3. These are full-size containers. These are not trial size. Uh, uh, this is going to last you quite a while, okay? Um, if you set your, if you put makeup on every single day, you may get uh, two months out of it, maybe, if you're setting every single day. Um, I personally don't wear makeup every single day. So mine tends to last me a little bit longer. So banana, if you want that one. Um, let's see. Um, never heard of putting either on yourself. Yeah, it's if, if you wear, it's like this. If you're wearing a lot of makeup, you kind of need the setting powder to set it. Um, I don't use a whole lot of setting powder. Um, I usually use my setting powder like when I'm going to church, like when I'm going to be out around people for an extended period of time, then I tend to set my makeup. Um, but if I'm just like today put on makeup just for to go live, I don't set my makeup. So I, I rotate what I do, uh, but some people, they set it all the time because they put on, um, you know, several layers. I don't wear foundation. I wear a tinted moisturizer. So therefore, there's really not a whole lot to set. But when you have that foundation on, you kind of need to set it so it stays where it's supposed to stay. Less melty, I think, is what you're looking for. <laughs> She's like, I'm convinced now. <laughs> Do I have lashes? No. I did all my lashes. The last lashes that I had, I did them in packs. And I think the last batch that I had, the two packs that I had left, I gave them to my niece. And she was just like head over heels. No, I'm talking about the snail slime or the snake venom. Um, there's things in them that uh, are, um, they're, they're beneficial. I've been using snail slime for probably three years. Probably about three years I've been using snail slime. I just like it. Yeah, I like it. And um, there, there is benefits to it. Uh, Rosé says, on a good day, I'm a lip liner, eyelash, eyeliner type of chick, right? Just simple. Don't overdo it. I get it. I get it. I'm pretty simple. I'm not super, um, what you call it either. Um, I missed, do you have the snail cream? No. That one, I don't carry that one. Um, I get mine from Ulta. I get mine from Ulta, but I don't carry it. The only thing that I've ever carried snail was a mask. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one right here is the um, snake venom. This one's for under your eyes. Let's see if it'll clear up. Let's see if it'll clear up. There we go. And it's not even an ounce. It's like three grams. So it comes in, it looks kind of like a syringe. And you snap the bottom, and when you snap the bottom, that becomes the cap. And so you snap the bottom, you basically just syringe out just a small amount. Just It's just for under the eyes, okay? And so what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to stimulate um, a reaction under the eyes and tissues. And so they um, look less tired. Um, I will say it does work. At least it worked for me. It does work. I just prefer my snail slime. It's not that it didn't do what they say. It's just, for me, I just prefer my snail slime. I don't know. I didn't want to put on two things. That's just me. I'm lazy. Um, Maddie wanted lashes. Yeah, I don't have any more lashes. That's where you get yours. Is that Ulta? Yeah, that, I get mine at Ulta. If I eat the venom while I die, girl, I don't know. She blinded me with science. Hey, that's from a movie. 
That's a song, right? How much is the snake? All Everything is $3 right now. So all the setting spray, the setting powder, the snake venom, $3. Okay, I have these small packs of No Ouch um, Traceless. Um, they're called Invisible Bobbles. So these are for your hair. Um, you can just comment the word bobble. And so you're going to get four bobbles in here. These are for your hair. Or actually, it says five. Five, I'm sorry. There's five in here. These are for your hair. They kind of look like the old-fashioned telephone cord. That's what they remind me of. So you're going to get five hair bobbles. And on one of the bobbles, there's a little shoe. So it's like a little charm. Okay. So this one right here of the shoe, this one is considered your Cinderella. You can comment Cinderella if you want the Cinderella one. And Cinderella, I have two. Cinderella, I have two. And you can just comment Cinderella. And it's $3. Okay. Um, this one is called Belle. And Belle, I have, it has the rose charm. And it's got light yellow, two light yellow and three clear. Belle, if you want Belle, I only have one. And then I also have the Little Mermaid. And this one, you can comment Mermaid. And this one is, I have four of this one. And this one has the little shell. And it has two purple with three clear. Okay. And I found another bell. So I have two bells. Two bells. One, one, one Cinderella. I'm so sorry. I'm all messed up. Two bells, two Cinderellas, and four mermaids. If anybody wants those. Weird science. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Um, yes, it was an 80s movie. You want one, girl? One? You got it. Okay, let's see. Did they kill mermaids to make that? No, girl, they didn't. It's just a shell. <laughs> She's all giving me a hard time now. No, they did not. <laughs> okay, next item. Next item I have are the eyelash curlers eyelash curlers. These have uh, the one pad that you see here. Let's see if I turn it this direction. They have the one pad that's up here that's already in position. And then you also get a replacement one here. So this is the kind where you grab this way. I don't know if you remember the old school one, but it had little holes that you stuck your fingers in and pinched it and your fingers would get stuck. This one has nice little grippers. So you're not having to put your fingers in holes. Makes it nice if you have bigger fingers or if you have nails on and it makes it a little awkward um, curler, if you want that, um, they're $3. And I have multiples. This one right here is your melt. Uh, normally this is $5. Uh, if you want it, it's $3. This is your melt. Um, this is called remover balm. And the way that this works is this is going to take off all of your makeup. This will even remove the adhesive if you wear lashes. Um, and so this stuff goes a little goes a long way. You just get a little bit out about the size of a dime. You can rub it on between your fingers and um, make it more like a, almost um, like liquidy, like oily, and then smooth it across your whole face. Uh, rub back and forth on across your eyelid if you have a eyeliner or even the adhesive for lashes, and it will take it all off, get you a nice warm washcloth, Wipe it off and your face is clean. So it's awesome. This stuff is wonderful. But it does actually melt the makeup. It's got vitamin E in it as well. Um, and I did, uh, people that wear contacts, this doesn't usually bother you because it's not leaky. You just wipe it right off. So melt if you want the melt. And I have multiples of those as well. Okay, let's see. Right? I'm glad you tried it. It's awesome. For real, it's awesome. Melt Bomb takes off everything. She says, except my fat. Girl. <laughs> Mama Ames, you want one? You got it. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is, it's wonderful. Okay, I have, um, this one is for your brows. It is a combination spoolie eyebrow brush. I only have two. Let's see if I can get it up here to where you can see it. So this end is a spoolie, and this end is your slanted brow brush. Can you see it in there? 
I, I did this to get it to where now that now you can see it. So it is slanted. It has a white tip. You can see the white tip. So it's slanted. So this is what you're going to use to uh, do those nice little lines in your eyebrows if you like to color in your eyebrows. And then this is your spoolie down at the other end. It's great to separate your lashes. It's great to add just a little tiny bit of mascara under your natural lash to bring them up to your um, lashes if you wear lashes. Um, this also works nice as an eyebrow comb, okay, if you're fixing your eyebrows. So spoolie, I have two comments. Spoolie if you want it. They're $3 for the spoolie brush, okay? Uh, Rosa, hey, Rosa, welcome, welcome. She says, I will take a melt, please. You've got your melt. All right, you got one. And Charlene, you want a melt? You got it. Okay. Let's see. Rose says the snake is for the whole face. No, just under the eyes, girl. This the snake venom just goes under the eyes. It's an eye serum. Yes, just for under the eyes. Rose, you want a spoolie? You got it. Did it stay in? Let's jump back out. No jumping out. Um, she says, There you are, my assistant. <laughs> Rosa, you got the other spoolie. You got it. And I only had two, guys. I only had two. Okay, next one I have, I only have two of these. This is your primer. No, there's two of them in here. This is your um, primer for your under your makeup. Um, you could even put this under your tinted moisturizer. That's how I tend to wear mine. Uh, this is just going to give you a smoother appearance under your makeup. Um, it doesn't remove anything. It's basically just a helper. Um, I call it Bondo for the skin. If you have larger pores or you have little imperfections on your skin, um, you put a little bit, of, not too much, a little goes a long way. You put a little bit of the primer. This one is clear, um, so it's not tinted. It's just clear. You put a little bit of this on your face. Uh, you can go upward if you want for a second, but always rub downward on your skin. Uh, it's going to give it a nice, smooth appearance. Then when you put your next layer on, it looks a little bit less flawed is the way that you should say it, okay? Um, a lot of people have a misunderstanding that this removes things or certain things remove things. It doesn't. It, it helps to lighten the appearance of whatever issues you have. I have larger pores. It helps to give the appearance that they're not as large as they are, which is nice. So this is kind of like a very light filler. It goes into those little imperfections and it tends to cause it to be smooth. Okay. So that's what it is. And I don't break out. I don't know if anybody has issues breaking out, but this doesn't cause you to break out because it's going into your pores. It doesn't have any kind of, um, I guess, reaction for that. So unless you have a problem with a lot of facial products, this isn't going to do anything like that. So, um, you can comment the word pore, P-O-R-E. I only have two of these left. They're $3. <clears throat> she says, I was looking for a spoolie the other day for Snuffleupagus eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, it helps to pull your lashes up in there. And what I used to do with mine is I would take the end of the spoolie and I will take a little bit because mascara is a little bit too aggressive in my opinion. Depends on what kind you use. But what I would do with mine is I would take my liquid liner, my liquid eyeliner, and I would run it across the spoolie like this, not coat the whole thing, just a couple lines, and then drag the spoolie in my natural lash up into the uh, artificial lash. Perfect. It's just enough to let it hold, and it doesn't mess up the lashes so that you get your 15 uses out of your lashes. Give Drea my spoolie if there is no more. Okay. Uh, you got it. Okay. Um, she says, I have one. I was just getting it. So you guys decide what you want to do. I got one from her last time she showed them. <laughs> she, 
She's funny. Um, I don't know if you have booted cash or not. <laughs> Look at her. She's all, you have booted cash. You better spend it. Hey, uh, Rosé is usually pretty accurate. In fact, Rosé has not there some more for Rosé. Um, she's usually pretty accurate at keeping track of stuff, by the way, guys. Yes, Drea, you have $5. She's she's accurate. She's like, girl, you have some booty cash. She's like, I'm keeping track. She's funny. See, I thought you did. Right? Okay, so let me see where I'm at. So you guys decide. Uh, Dre is getting the spoolie or rosé. And you guys let me know. All right, I have two, three. I have three of the two pack of Burt's Bees, the hemp. I do have two of these, uh, all natural origin. So if you're interested in some Burt's Bees, just comment the word B. And these are two packs, and I have three of them. And it's three bucks a pack. So if you need any hemp uh, Burt's Bees, this one is hemp. Okay? There's those. Just comment the word B. Oh, wow, look at her knowing I didn't know I had any. She's girl, she's keeping track. She's like, I'm watching you all. She's taking names and numbers. Just saying. <laughs> okay, let's see. She says, Rosé can have, since I was looking for one for her long lashes. Okay. Can I smook it? <laughs> the bees. No, girl, don't smoke the Burt's bees. That will be all bad. Okay, so let me grab it. <laughs> you guys, we're just going to make her get her steps in. That's what we're going to do to Rita today. We're going to have Rita get her steps in. Uh, Nola, you want a bees? You got it. Andrea wants a bees? You got it. Okay, so Andrea gets a bees. And Nola, you got a bees. Okay? And there is one left. Okay, this one is a three-pack of Carmex in the Fresh Cherry Fragrance. Uh, this is a three-pack. I don't know if any of you guys are still in the winter areas where the, the air is very cold and chapping of the lips. I will tell you that Carmix is a for sure fix. It is a for sure fix. I know a lot of people like their, um, the sticks of, um, uh, there's another one out there. It doesn't work. My opinion doesn't work. Carmix once or twice and it works wonders. You know, when the kids come home and they, pick up the habit of um, sucking on their lip and they get chapped under here, this stuff works, guys. This stuff works. Um, give it to your kid in their backpack and um, have them put that on. Tell them every time you feel like doing that, put that stuff on there because that needs to go away. Um, they usually pick up that habit at school. They see someone else doing it. They start doing it. And before you know it, they have that thing going on. I don't know why kids do it, but a lot of them do it. And it usually happens in the winter time. So uh, I have two of these. Comment Cherry if you're interested in one of these. Three dollars. Right? They they all do it. Or biting of the shirt. Chewing on their shirt. If they pick it up. They just pick it up at school. Uh, sorry, I have to add extra letters because the book face will you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> Carmex is OG works for sure, right? You want a Carmex? Do you want a Carmex, Rosé? Nola? And, okay, you do. Okay, got it. Nola, you got a Carmex, and Rosé, you got the other one. Okay, next item. Mama Ames, you get first dibs at this one. I have two of them. Um, it's called Lid Lockup, and I can't tell you because I didn't try them. Uh, they are new. Um, this is called CoverGirl Lid Lock. CoverGirl Lid Lock. And so I know that you are looking for a, a lid primer. I can't tell you the efficiency of this one because I've never used this one. But I do have two available. If you want one, just comment the word lock. L-O-C-K. And they are CoverGirl. Okay. And they're $3 each if you want one. Just comment the word lock. But I did get two. Okay, I have one of the Infallible by L'Oreal. This one is a corrective, corrective concealer. 
The color of this one is called Sun Beige. Sun Beige, you are seeing true color on the screen. So it's a little bit darker, it's not a super light one. So if you have more olive skin, this is gonna be great. Um, I can show you my skin color. It, this one would be a little dark for me. I would pick one that's a little bit lighter if I'm covering stuff up. Um, if I'm just trying to create a little bit of shadow, this one might work for me, but usually I go a little deeper for shadow. So uh, concealer, if you want it, I only have one comment, the word concealer, it's $3. Okay, Charlene, uh, you missed out on the cherry, girl. They're already claimed. And same with Rosa. Uh, Mama Ames, you do want a lock? And let me know how it works. I probably won't get them again, but let me know how it works. So I do have one more. Uh, and always make sure that you put it on and let it kind of get some air before you start putting on your um, eyeshadow. It's not that it's supposed to be tacky in order for it to work. It's just supposed to work as a... It's going to have a little bit, but not a lot. It shouldn't, anyway. Hey, Athena! How are you? How are you, cousin? You're at home today? Is, did you get, like, a snow day today, but not snow? <laughs> or have you just not went back to work just yet? I hope you're able to relax and keep warm. Okay, this one I only have one. This one I only have one. And this one is, uh, it's called Rich Witch. And it is a shimmer liquid eyeshadow, and it's a really pretty gold. Look at how pretty gold that is. It is a wet and wild. This one is $3, and you can just comment the word. It says it's called liquid cat suit. So if you like that really blingy look on your eyes, comment the word gold. You see my, this right here? I was um, outside cleaning the other day, and I think I got bit. All right, gold if you want that one. And the next one I have, this one is also a liquid eye color. It's called liquid chrome or eye chrome. Color tattoo by Maybelline. And this one is the color Bold Sapphire. This one's called Bold Sapphire. So you are seeing kind of like a dark blue. It does have some shimmer in it. Um, these are all new. These are unopened. The seal is here. Um, if you want this one, comment the word bold. Comment the word bold. I might do better putting it that way. Okay, the word bold. I only have one. It's $3. Oh, no, you're sick. That's not good. That is not good. That is not good. I let Drea tell you what you missed. And I forgot to put my stupid heater on. Okay. Um, these, I only have one of this color. These are matte lip crayons. Matte lip crayons. This one's called Hot Apricot. And this is your color, Hot Apricot. And this is like the color when you see an apricot, it's not the orange color, it's that really pretty pink part of the apricot where you see it goes from orange to that pink when it's ripe just perfectly. That's the color this is, that really pretty pinkish color that's over the orange on the apricot. So apricot if you want it. I only have one in apricot. Um, this one right here is your lavender honey. That sounds pretty. Lavender honey. And this one is, um, I don't know if you're seeing the color. The color is right here. Um, it's not purple at all. It's called lavender honey. It's more of like your neutral. Um, it's really pretty. Um, it's more of a neutral lip. This one's going to have more of a neutral color. It's looking a little darker on the screen than it is going to be in the tube. Um, honey, if you want that one. Um, let's see. Um, yes, hopefully you feel better soon, Athena. Drea says she wants the liquid eyeshadows and concealer. Oh, you're telling her what she missed. 
She needs to fill me in. That's what she's here for. Oh my gosh. I'm lucky when you show up, you are an enforcer for your assistant. Your assistant. I'm just teasing. Um, this one's called Chocolate Delight. This one's called Chocolate Delight. There's, that's better. This one's called Chocolate Delight. And you can comment chocolate if you want this one. And these are all sealed. They're all new and sealed. I guess I should go this direction. Okay, chocolate, I have two. Okay, so you have chocolate, you have honey, or you have apricot. Chocolate, honey, or apricot. That's way better color. Okay. Uh, I do have one set of brushes. Um, these are not expensive brushes. These are just simple brushes. These make a good gift for a young person if they're just starting out and they're just learning to use makeup. This is a nice way to give them a whole set of brushes without them having um, to be able to know how to take care of them just yet and make a big investment in brushes. So it's $3 for the set. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brushes in this packet. And so you're getting ten brushes for three bucks. Um, they are soft, but they're not going to be the quality that someone, say, my age would be using because I've been using brushes forever. Um, that's just how it is. But uh, say that you have a young girl, she's just starting out. It's nice to give a full set of brushes that they can use and get the hang of using them. See the difference in texture and length of the brushes and how to apply different things. Brushes, if you want them, it's three bucks. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. She says, you are keeping me company while making homemade pepperoni rolls and homemade meatballs. Ooh, nice. Very nice. I didn't know people made homemade pepperoni rolls. Homemade meatballs, you can send a few of those my way. I'm down for some meatballs. My husband's not a big spaghetti fan, and I can't eat the pasta now anyway. But you know what? Meatballs are still good. Uh, it's kind of like, to me, kind of like meatloaf. They're still good, and they go good with other things. You don't have to have them on pasta. Uh, Drea, you're in first for the brushes. You got the brushes. I'm sorry, Samantha. I only have one set. There was only one set. Okay. This one, the box is a little bit beat, but it's it's all there. You're going to get the applicator brush, which has a slanted brush with a spoolie. And then you're going to get the pot that has the uh, stuff for your brows, the, the pot that you dip into to do your brows. Now, this comes in the color of light blonde, light blonde. But I will tell you, the box is a little bit beat, but the stuff is new. Okay, so this is your light blonde. I don't think it's going to pick up the words for the, mm, it says light blonde right there. So this, if you have blonde hair, you just need a little bit of filling color. This one's going to be very uh, compatible with that light colored hair. So um, tattoo if you want that one. I have one um, black, rich brown. I'm sorry, it's not black. It's called Rich Brown. It's probably as close to black as you can get without being black. Um, this one right here is your um, angled brush for brow sculpt and set. Okay, brow sculpt and set. So the pot is here. This is the brush. That is the angled brush tip that is on this. Um, I stapled this here because after I got it, it separated. And so I didn't want it to lose itself in there and you keep the packaging. But um, if you want this one, comment the word sculpt. The word sculpt if you want this one. And it is a deep, dark brown. Rich brown. Rich brown. It looks just about black, though. And this one, too, is also for sculpting your brows. All right, there's those. Okay, so that's what's in the basket. Um, I do have uh, highlighters, bronzing highlighters. Okay, so this is the lightest one. I'll try to show them all together so you can see the difference. Um, this one is the next one. Okay, let's see if 
this is going to work. Let's see if I can hold them so they work. They look the same, don't they? They're not, though. So this, this one is number one. This one is number two. Which one's better, number one or number two? Number one or number two? <laughs> Uh, trying to be funny like you're at the at the eye doctor. All right, there's that one. And then this one is number three. A little darker. And then this one is number four, and it is the darkest. I need to get better light. I need to be able to hold these is what I need to do. Can you see a difference in those two? without my hands in the way. So number four is on the top, number three is on the bottom. I, in this screen, I can't tell the difference. So let's just say number one is gonna be for your lighter skin. If you have light skin, go with number one. If you have a little bit of beige, you start to lean a little bit towards the beige colors, then get number two. If you are tan, like you now you're into like the, the colors that are more into your medium or deeper beige, get number three. And if you have dark skin, get number four. Okay, that's how we'll do those. <clears throat> And yes, welcome, welcome, everybody that's popping in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Uh, Charlene, you want number one. You got it. Number one. Those are a little hard to show. I've never done well with those ones. All right. Uh, these go back in here. Powders, sprays, singles. Those go there and there. Okay. Hey, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right. And some of these, I may make some of these into gift packs. I know a lot of you like gift packs. So some of these may be converted into gift packs for Mother's Day. Probably not for Valentine's Day, but I might make them into packs for Mother's Day. All right, um, I do have three of these available. I'm not gonna take them out, but if you have any of the metal uh, brush cleaners and you need a new sponge, it's $3 for the sponge and I do have three available. So if you've picked up one of the metal brush cleaners that has the little sponge inside, um, these are new sponges. If you need one, they're $3 a piece, claim the word sponge. If you have one, you know what they are. All right, here are some hand creams. Now, if you've been with me for any amount of time, I've ha I've gotten my hands on these before. Um, I was able to get some again, so I grabbed them. Um, these are great for your purse, for your vehicle in the glove box, um, in your bag that you go to church in, uh, if you're a school teacher in your class bag, um, if you uh, are constantly out and about like I am and uh, have to use sanitizer because there's no water like when I go to an estate sale. As soon as I leave the estate sale, I spray my hands with sanitizer because my hands feel icky. And then my hands, I want to put moisturizer on them. So these are great to have in your car along with your little moisture or your sanitizer if you carry one. Um, I'm not a big proponent of sanitizing your hands all day long. Please use soap and water. It's better for you. But when you have to, it's always best to hydrate when you're done because you're removing your natural oils off your hands. So anyhow, just tips on cream. Um, I do have these. I've carried these before. These are fabulous creams. They're made by uh, Avery. I believe they're Avery. Avery Beauty. I have them in a few fragrances. These are, um, I'm going to look at this one. These are 1.5 ounces. Uh, they're made with... Uh, Shea butter, um, and they're for nourished and silky skin. So this is your rose water fragrance. You can claim it with the word rose. I only have five of the rose. I only have five of the rose. And I will tell you, um, I was going to tell you what's in it, but 
Um, shea butter. There's other things in this. This is not a only shea butter cream. But this one has shea butter and the rose fragrance, and it is 100% vegan. Okay? Rose if you want it. I have five of the rose. I'm glad you're doing well, girl. I hope your Christmas was beautiful and your New Year's was a new leaf. Let's just say that, a new leaf. This one right here is your shea butter. So you can just comment the word shea. I believe I have eight or nine of this one. Um, this one right here is your, um, just your shea butter. It's not going to have a lot of fragrance. It's almost, it's not unscented, but it's not like a specific scent. Okay. So shea, if you want this one, these ones go on really nice. Um, this one is your sweet citrus. You can comment the word citrus if you want this one. And then this one right here, this one's my favorite fragrance. This one is your honey matcha. This one is your honey matcha. It's kind of got a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of, uh, uh, like, sweet plant smell. I, I don't even know the right words to say it. But your honey matcha. Um, this one. This one was one of my favorites. I couldn't get lavender. I ordered it, but they didn't include it because they were, they were out of it. So I grabbed what I could. Again, these come from... When I get this stuff right here, your hand and foot stuff, I get it straight from uh, Beauty Supply. Um, some of you know, some of you don't know, but I do hold a esthetician and manicuring license, which allows me to buy professional products. So when I can grab things like this, I do grab them. And that's where these ones come from. Okay. So this one right here is Rose, Shea, Citrus, or Matcha. Uh, Rosa gets a rose. Yay, Rosa gets a rose. Um, and if you shopped with me when I had gotten my shop, um, this is that same cream that I had at that time. Uh, they're $3. Rosé, they're $3. Um, let's see. Rosa, she says she wants a shea and a matcha. And Nola, you want a citrus. You got it. Citrus. Nola for citrus. Okay. Um, hello, Simone. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so there's those. Um, and I'll probably have these on hand frequently. Um, when I can get them, when they have them in stock, I usually try to keep them on hand. All right, next. Let's see. Next, I have the pedicures. Okay, here we go. Um, you can basically get just about everything that you need to do your own pedicure at home, especially if you don't like going to go get a pedicure. Uh, even if you don't like to go do it and you don't like other people doing it, you still should be doing it for yourself. Um, you can do it with just soap, water, whatever, but there is products out there that help the process go really nicely, uh, even in your own home with just a tub of water and you're going to reap the benefits of the items that you're putting onto your skin. So, with that being said, I have, let me grab this here too. Grab these up here. So it's easier for me to show you. And this one. Okay. So, first of all, you have your Manny. Your, your, there's enough here to do your hands if you want to. There's enough product in each packet that you could do your hands first and then when you're all done you could do your feet. Okay. Um, do your hands first before you start messing with your feet. Not everybody's feet are equal and so just a little word of caution. Do your hands first then do your feet. Um, your feet are going to use more product than your hands and you might get a little crazy and not get to your hands afterwards. So here you go. This is a called a petty in a box. Okay, these are $7 a box. They come in different fragrances. Um, I only have a couple of some, and some of them I have a little bit more. So um, you'll have to claim it with the word. This one is Ocean. This is your Ocean Fresh Scent. Uh, this one right here is also good for men. They're not going to be, like, feeling extra uh, girly. Um, and so they will like this scent if you're wanting to put something together. Father's Day, birthday, or you just want to treat your husband to a pedicure. It's a beautiful thing if you do that. Um, anyhow, uh, Ocean Fresh, if you like it, 
what comes in here is you're going to get the soak that you soak in. You're going to get the scrub. The scrub is going to help to slough off dead skin after you've soaked. Then you're going to get the mask. The mask is going to help to feed your skin some hydration and some nutrients. And then you're going to get the moisturizing cream, which you also can use as the massage portion if you like to massage their feet after or your feet after. So you're getting all four steps. You get the soap, the scrub, the mask, and the moisturizer or massage butter, whatever you want to refer to it. $7 a box. This is your Ocean Scent. Ocean, I have two. This one is your Chocolate Love. Chocolate Love. So if you like the smell of chocolate, you may enjoy a chocolate pedicure. Chocolate, if you want this one, I have two. Uh, this one is your Hemp. So this one's going to be more uh, relaxing because of the hemp properties that are in it. Uh, hemp, I have multiples of. This is one of my better sellers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven of the hemp. And I will tell you that in this batch, this is the newest box out. This was their packaging. They changed their packaging this year. So this is just a brand new package that came out. They're the same pedicure, same products. They just changed the packaging this year. So hemp, if you want hemp. Um, hey, Connie, girl, you're not at work. Don't be playing hooky. Don't be trying to get in no trouble. Rose says, I'm too fat. Can't reach my feet. Drea does my pedicures. Well, if you buy the supplies, she might be more willing to do it. She says, you know, I don't like feet. <laughs> Uh, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people in the industry and they don't like feet as well. Some do them because it's money and some say, no, I don't do feet. They just do hair and nails. Um, this one is your charcoal. So this one's going to be your detox. This has charcoal included into the, uh, items. And so it's going to draw toxins out as you're doing the pedicure. So detox, you're going to comment the word charcoal if you want this one. And this one I have four. This one is your Olive Sensation. This one has the olive oil in it. Olive, if you want olive, more hydrating. That one's going to be more hydrating. This one is your Lavender. So if you like relaxing or you want to soothe the skin, Lavender is great for that. Lavender, if you want Lavender. Another one that a lot of men will tolerate. It's not overly uh, floral. It's more woodsy. Um, this one right here is your cucumber. Um, you could do charcoal for men, too. Uh, cucumber, um, if you want this uh, refreshing, bright cucumber, just claim with the word cucumber. I have two of those. I only have one of the Cafe Macchiato, and you can comment the word coffee if you want this one. I only have two of them. I only have, I'm sorry, I only have one. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have one. Another one that's great fragrance that you can have for a man as well is the eucalyptus. This one's very invigorating. Um, it stimulates. Eucalyptus is a great stimulator. Um, as you're doing this pedicure, you're going to breathe the eucalyptus, and it does that for your sinus as well. So eucalyptus, if you want the eucalyptus. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mama Ames says she will take a chocolate. You got it. Um, Stephanie says, hello, Mama Ames. Yes, uh, prices went so, okay, so I will tell you, I used to charge $35. Did my screen, just there it goes. Uh, I used to charge $35 for a spa pedicure. The girls in the same shop would charge the same 30, well, they were charging 30. They're like, we only charge 30. I said, well, I don't do what you do. I charge 35. Um, I do all of these steps with my other products, I do all of these steps, and I use hot towels. Therefore, I charge $35. My pedicures aren't 30 minutes long. My pedicures take about an hour. Um, so I charge what I want to charge. That's the joy of being in a booth. You charge what you want. Um, so they didn't like that because when they would set their customers down, when I was doing my pedicures, their customers are like, I didn't get hot towels. You booked with them. You didn't book with me. You paid $30. These guys paid $35. But that was years ago. Now pedicures are, uh, they're up there. And that's even if you get a full-on spa pedicure. Mm -hmm. um, these are $7 a box. 
$7 a box and you're able to give yourself or a friend. Maybe you're going to give a gift to mom and not only give the gift, but do the gift. Uh, it's very humbling to do people's feet. Uh, our example is Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. And he did that to show that it's good to humble yourself and to uh, minister to somebody else in their need. You may have an, el an older uh, parent that can't even get down there to tend to their feet. Um, it's good if you can do that for them. And if not, uh, do the next best thing and take them to go get a pedicure. Feet are very important. Very important. Um, this one is your vitamin. You can just comment vitamin. This one's a vitamin recharge. Um, this one's going to have some nutrients in it that are going to just feed the skin, make the skin nice. And if, as you're feeding your skin, your body takes it in and processes it as well. Little as well. This one is your green tea. Green tea also works as a detoxifier. Another great one for men because, you know, you know, they always got toxins because who knows what they do when they go to work, what they eat, what they're exposed to. Great way to help their body rid themselves of some of those toxins. So this one, the charcoal one, great for that. Uh, this one right here, I have three of. This one is your mango. So if you like that sweet, sunny, summery type smell, mango might be right up your alley. Mango if you want that one. And then I do even have three of the unscented. So if you don't like any fragrance of all at all, you just want your feet done. Uh, unscented if you want unscented. Okay, so those are your options on fragrance. Um, all of these are going to function in the same manner as far as providing the benefits of uh, moisturizing your skin, softening your skin so that as you're doing, say, your cuticles and you're clipping the nails, it makes them more manageable. Okay, so $7 a pack, all the different fragrances. <clears throat> oh, yes, the teacher would love them. Okay, so what did I miss? Yes, hemp. You want a hemp one. You got it, Aunt Amy. Yes, a teacher would fall in love with that because, you know, they're at school all those hours, or the nurses, uh, or anybody who works in the office. They're at work like eight hours a day. They don't have time during the day to go get this stuff done for themselves. So how awesome is that? Uh, they don't have to worry about trying to make an appointment on their day off, which is Saturday, you know. Waste a day trying to get their feet taken care of. Yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mama Aim says, I love getting a pedicure. I take my mama and we get them together. Yes, worth every penny. Foot care is probably one of the most neglected things on the body. And you need your feet. Your feet, you need your feet every day, all day long. So why not take care of them? Right? Yeah. Um, I love to get one done. But I'm very choosy who I go to because I want what I do. And I know that sounds terrible. I want the service that I used to provide. And it's very hard to find. My, my daughters will tell you, Mom, we can't get a pedicure like what you give us. I say, well, then you have to sit in my chair. <laughs> okay, these are a dollar a pack. Um, I was able to get these a little bit lower, so that's awesome. So these are a dollar a pack. So if you picked up the pedicures, you don't have to pick up the pedicures to use these. But these are like a little disposable, clean, sanitary, sealed. These make nice gifts as well. Drop-ins, whatever, additions too. Um, in this pack, you're going to get the buffer. You're going to get the file, the emery board file. It's These are better than your traditional emery board that you buy in the store. These are made nicer. Um, this one also has an orange wood stick inside. I don't know if I can get it up here where you can see it. So you also get the orange wood stick, which is right here. Uh, this flat end is to push your cuticles back. The pointed end is to get underneath of the free edge of the nail. Okay, because you got to do all that if you're going to do it. So uh, your orange wood stick, I'll tell you how to use these items. How's that make more sense why they're in here? So you're going to start off with your foot in the water soaking. Uh, before you take your foot out of the water from soaking, you're going to use this disposable um, um, pumice. This is a disposable pumice. It's not made out of pumice. It's made out of another material. Um, I don't suggest reusing it, but you do what you want. 
Okay, you could get multiple uses out of it, but I don't suggest using it because it's going to have dead skin in all those crevices, and that's just that's just gross to me. But you do you. Okay, uh, so you would use this. The whole point of this is it's disposable. It's not safe. It's disposable. Um, so your feet are soaking. You take the um, disposable pumice and you rub those rough spots on your heels. Maybe they're under the ball of your foot, the sides of your foot, especially if you wear sandals. You rub all those rough spots after you have soaked, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to do the scrub on your feet, and that's going to take and remove all of that dead skin that you just loosened up with this pumice, okay? Then what you're going to do is after you do the scrub, you're going to push back your cuticles. You're going to push back your cuticles with this and clean your free edge, rinse off your scrub, all that kind of stuff. Then you're going to take and shape your nails with this file, right? You're going to clip your nails and shape your nails. This right here, this buffer, um, this buffer works good if you're not going to polish your nails and you just want that light buffing on your nails. Um, this one works good for that, okay? You can use it on your hands or get you two, but do your hands first. One dollar a pack, comment the word kit. <clears throat> lot of descriptions yes winter time pedicure time over until the next one right um you should do a video of giving your mama a pedicure oh she says i ain't touching her feet <laughs> she's like i'm not touching her feet i take her they can touch her feet i will tell you um but see it's i i I know this, it's going to sound weird, but the Lord gave it to me that I enjoyed having people in my chair and their feet being cared for in such a way that um, it was a benefit to them to come get a pedicure, not just a luxury service. Um, I had a lot of ladies, their feet weren't in bad condition. They just couldn't bend over to get to them. And so this was a way for them to keep that maintained. So that was just something that the Lord gave me to take care of people's feet. And it's awesome. It's awesome. Rose, you want four? You got it. <clears throat> okay, next item. And you can get them from me anytime. I usually have them. They're usually, I keep them in a tote. <clears throat> Yeah, and you have to be careful because older people, their skin is very, very soft, especially after you soak them. Uh, you can cut them with the file. With the uh, file that you file the nails, you can actually cut them with the file. So, but I'm still iffy on that Brazilian wax. Oh, girl, I did those too. So waxing and pedicures were my favorite. I hated doing acrylic nails. I hated doing acrylic nails. But the money was there, so I did them. See, I was opposite. I rather I rather book pedicures and waxes all day long. Just saying. Okay, everybody has their knack, right? Okay, these ones right here, I did get a request. I know Clarissa was wanting me to get these ones in. These ones are reusable. Um, these ones, um, don't use it on you and somebody else. Please don't use even your, even your metal implements. You're like, well, they're metal. They're not porous you know what's the big deal you can actually spread um hepatitis with your metal implements so please don't share your stuff even with a spouse or a child get your own uh teach them those same things get your own um just a little word of caution but this one right here you can have for yourself uh these are great because they have two textures to them they have the rougher texture which is your dark color very similar to the blue one that's in that packet. These are larger. This is like double in size from what you saw in that packet. So you could even take and cut this in half. So if you want to get one for you and hubby, you could still buy one, just cut it in half, okay? Um, your rougher texture is going to be what you're going to use first, and then your smoother one is what you're going to use to do the refining process. Um, these also work great for elbows. You can use them for your elbows. They're not just for feet. Um, pumices are awesome. This is not a stone pumice. And so it makes it to where it's a little bit nicer. They've come a long way with stuff. Antibacterial. Um, 
um, extra coarse and medium is what this is called. So this is made by Mr. Pumas. It's a known brand. Um, these are $3. Yes, these are $3 if you want them. And you can just comment the word uh, Pumas. Okay, Pumas, if you want those ones. Stephanie says, do you sell nail clippers for thick nails for elderly feet? Um, I can get them. Um, I did pick up a, I picked up four pairs of nippers if anybody wants or are interested in them. But the ones that you're talking about, they're considered podiatrist ones. Um, I can get them. And I, they're used to do the heavy nail on um, the feet. Um, I will tell you, I will tell you, um, if you are requiring those to do your feet, you probably should seek a doctor's uh, care first um, because there's a condition that you need to take care of and you don't want that condition to spread. Um, usually if there's a condition like those big, thick nails, um, usually it's caused because there's a bacteria in the body and that needs to be tended to so that that can go away. You do not want to be touching that with your hands. It's, it, it can, you can get it on your hands. Um, but I do have for, uh, regular nails. I do have a few pairs that I brought because I didn't know if it was something you guys want. They do are a little bit higher price on these. Um, these are your, they're considered cuticle nippers, but I use them for accuracy to trim nails. I used them for nails. Um, so these are your, um, pr these are called double spring, which is this right here. Um, you want a double spring because if you just have one spring, uh, you lose um, the ability to uh, nip. They'll eventually, they'll stop um, opening back up. They'll just want to close. They won't want to open back up. The double spring allows you to have a longer lasting nipper that works longer. Okay. These are very sharp. Um, these are made to where you hold them this direction to cut and you can see exactly what you're cutting. You can gauge how far you're cutting back. So these are really nice. Um, they will cut. These also will cut into an acrylic nail. So you can use these for a thicker nail, but you're not going to want to use these for those really thick nails, I think is what you're referring to. Those are quite bigger tool and with a larger, thicker nipper area. But I can get them, girl. I can get them. But I, I would recommend that you... Um, that there's they see a doctor for those nails because something when that happens and they get that thickness to them they're usually also yellow which lends to there's there's a bacterial fungi going on causing that nail to be thick like that because that's not a normal nail um i will tell you i did not work on people that had that if they came in it's considered fungus if they came in with that i had to refer them to a doctor they're not going to go into my tub um, because it can it can go through the tub and then somebody else get it from that so even if you clean um the risk is there so yeah always refer them to a doctor's care to get uh usually an oral medication is needed um and also your podiatrist that you go to can cut your nails. Now you're gonna have to go and file them. They don't shape them. They just cut them off for you. But a lot of podiatrists will do that as a um, service. They do offer it as a service. But you're not gonna get a pedicure. They're just gonna cut the growth off and then send you home with a jagged nail because they're not manicures. Uh, you want two of these, Mama Ames? Am I giving you guys a whole earful of information? But I will tell you, my customers were very uh, glad that I would tell them because they were like, people never tell me that. I said, well, I'm going to tell you because that you need to get it taken care of, not just covered up with blue polish. Because a lot of them were like, I always get blue because then you can't tell that the nail is yellow. I was like, you don't cover it up. You go get it fixed. 
go get the medication. After the doctor clears you, come back and I will do your nails. Right? Don't just, don't just. Uh. Anyways, these are $9. Did I say that? Comment nipper if you want them. They're $9 a piece. These are new, unused. Again, please don't share your implements with anybody. Nippers, tweezers, um, metal files. I know they're metal, but you can still transfer stuff with your with your stuff. All right, next one is the nail brush. I have these in multiple colors. These are all new. These are great uh, in the process of your pedicure to brush the nails of the feet. Uh, they're great to keep on your bathroom sink, your kitchen sink. If you wear nails like I do to get the max clean and keep uh, from getting any kind of ick up in there, that's gross. Um, you can keep one of these by there. Please make sure you rinse it and tap it out so you're not breeding bacteria in your brush. But these are great. They work great for under the nails. You can use them for a variety of things around the house, but that's what they're for. I will tell you, if you're a reseller, these are great for your plush. Um, to fluff up your plush after you've washed your plush, you can make that plush look like it's fabulous. So just saying, they have multiple uses, but these are nail brushes. I do have a whole box. They're a dollar a piece, and you can pick color if color is something that you are interested in. Hello, Christy. Welcome, welcome. Cool Ranch, you want a nipper? You got it. Right here. You got it. There's times where I miss my old work. There is times. Um, you can pick that fungus up different places. I picked up while in the hospital getting chemo once. I was so mad shower shoes 100% after that. Yes, yes, that's the whole thing. It's very contagious. Um, athlete's foot is also a form of that same bacteria, that virus threat bacteria. It's bacteria. It's, it's a fungus. So it's harder to kill once you got it. So a lot of times it requires um, oral medication because it gets into the bloodstream. So if you see somebody and they got those kind of nails, they really should go get some. Um, where did I get these from? Where did I get these from? Oh, right here. Okay, this is a cool item. These ones are $2. These are cool. These don't come individually wrapped. They come loose. Um, but these are really cool. So you have your pumice that you use for your feet or your elbows or whatever. These are called cuticle erasers. Okay. And it's a pumice stone. Okay. They're called stone erasers. So it has a point and it's flat. Okay. So what you do with this is you take the tip and you rub it along the... Um, I don't have anything. Let's just say this is it. You take that tip and what you do is you erase the cuticle. You just lightly rub it along your cuticle and it buffs it off. Okay. So first you would uh, lightly rub that cuticle. Some people have a lot of cuticle overgrowth. Okay. A lot of that's from lack of pushing them back and hydrating them. So they go back to where they're supposed to be at. But if you just take that cuticle um, eraser, what it does is it, it erases off that adhesion where that cuticle was growing onto the nail. And then you can push your cuticle back a lot more easier without it hurting. Okay. You want to make sure that you soften it really nicely before you ever push it back. Don't just go push your cuticles back because it'll hurt. But if you take the cuticle eraser and you start erasing it just gently, it will take off that excess adhesion and allow you to clean up your cuticles nicely. So if you want one of the cuticle stones, just comment the word eraser, okay? It's going to come like this, okay? It's not in a special wrapper. They're just stones. Um, you can wash these, uh, let them air dry, and then uh, go at it again, okay? Good for hands or feet, okay? And you can just comment the word eraser. And those are $2. Okay, let me see. Um... Uh, yep, got that athlete's foot from the hospital shower too. Yes, because it's very contagious. Very contagious. Uh, Rosa, nail brush times three. I'm going to give you three different colors, girl. 
three different colors makes it nice to keep track of where you put your brush. Um, it's hard to find good cuticle nippers. Yes, and those are our cuticle nippers. So if you want to nip your cuticles, you can. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, a cuticle eraser for Christy. Number 23. Number 23. Do I have you up here already? I don't think. Yes, you do. Okay. So 23. Christy, I got you. Mama Ames, you want one? You got one. And let's see. Hello, Miss Tina. You want one, girl? You got one, too. I forgot. What is your number? 195. 195. Okay. There's that. And Nola, you want one and a brush? Nola, you get one and a brush? You got it. Okay. And let's see. Rosa, you want an eraser? You got it. Okay. And if you break these, don't toss them out. You can still use it and you can reshape your end with a nail file. Okay. So if you break them, because they, they can break, if you break them, uh, don't toss it out. Just make yourself an edge with it. Focus keeps going out and fuzziness. It's possible. It's possible. Um, it could be weather in our area, Athena. Uh, the brush is $1. One dollar on the nail brush. And I have a whole box full of them, so I always have them on hand. Um, some of these were replenishments from what I had before. Okay, so give me a second. I will be right back. Hold on. Hey guys, sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Um, Rose says, it, it, is it raining? Yes. Yes, uh, we got high winds and raining. So it's possible that it's the feed. Chrissy, you want two brushes? Okay, and I'm gonna give you two different colors that way you can keep track of them easily. It always makes it nice when you have two different colors. And yes, please fill out the form if you haven't. Thank you, Rosé. Um, got my box, Miss Rita. Daddy loves the glacier tea. Yay. Do you have a single cup tea steeper for sale? I've been doing a half gallon and reheating. Mm, I don't have a single one. I know what you're talking about. Um, I will look into getting some of those. Um, I was thinking about the other day when I was making my tea. I'll see if I can get some. I'll, I don't have any, but I'll see if I can get some. Um, okay, next item. I jumped over there. I did those, I did those, I did those. Okay, I have three, I have two of these available. Uh, if anybody would like a, um, these are called Flowering Trees Collection. It's a set of three of the, um, it's considered, where's your ounces at? I hate when I can't see the ounces. 2.25 ounces each. 
So each one is 2.25 ounces each. So you get a total of almost seven ounces of hemp lotion. Um, these are another one, great for your car, great for your purse, great for your bathroom sink or kitchen sink, wherever, uh, your desk drawer. Um, these fit nicely there. You're going to get three different fragrances. You're going to get cherry blossom. You're going to get, um, I'm sorry, honey, sweet pear, and sweet magnolia. Okay, so you're going to get three fragrances. These ones right here are uh, $15 for the pack. So $15 for the pack. If you're familiar with this brand, that's a good price on these. So if you want this one, just comment the word pack. And I have two of them. And it's $15 for the pack. Okay. Um, I got three of these. These are $8 a piece. This one is uh, Creative Nail Designs. Um, this is uh, one of the brands that's out there that you use of the acrylic and a lot of the different products that they put out. So it's called C&D. Most people are familiar with the word C&D. Um, this one is your black cherry and nutmeg scent. Um, this one right here is 8.3 ounces of um, hand and body cream. You can use this on your body as well. You don't have to just use it for your hands. But this is cherry nutmeg. It's $8. If you're interested in this one, comment the word nutmeg. We've already used the word cherry. So let's use the word nutmeg for this one. Uh, very hydrating. Very, very hydrating. Not icky tacky feeling either. So this is a good brand. Um, black cherry and nutmeg. Comment nutmeg if you want it. Those are $8 and I have three of those. All right. Um, some of you have gotten cuticle oil from me before. I have uh, several different fragrances available. Um, these are $8 um, a vial. I guess you could call it a vial. Um, you're very welcome. Did you see my... I did not see you, girl. Hold on a second. Two? Did I miss you? Hold on. I've seen Christy's brush. Hey, Rochelle. Eraser. I don't see you for the eraser. I'm sorry I missed you, but I, even up here, I'm not seeing it. Mm. I see Mama Ames telling you hi, but I don't see you at all, girl. I'm so sorry. So two. For Kathy Eddie, 122. And if I miss your comments, please repeat them. Um, but this is your first comment that I see. I I see you say hi, Mama Ange, right here. And her tell you hi back, but that's the only thing that I see. And actually, I see Mama Ames say hi first which I would think that that means that you were here, but I'm not seeing anything prior to that. So my apologies. Just get my attention again, guys. If I don't, if I don't acknowledge your comment, just get my attention. Um, let me see. Okay, so I got you now. Rochelle, hello, hello. The beard products yet? Nope, not yet. Not yet. I said hi in response to her order. Oh, see, I don't, I didn't see her comment up there. That is so weird. I see, uh, first one in was Christy and then Mama Ames and then uh, Tina and Nola and Rosa. That was it. Okay, just let me know after Nola. I don't have it after Nola. Um, I have Nola's eraser and then Nola's brush and then Rosa's eraser. And that, that's how it goes on mine. I don't have her up there. If you guys saw it, that's awesome. Why I didn't see it, I have no clue. Okay, these ones are, but like I said, just tell me so that I, I can get it. Um, these ones are $8 a piece. 
These are cuticle oil. These are great. They're going to last you a long time. This is a lot of oil, believe it or not, because your cuticles are very tiny. Um, so these are boxed. They are new. I'm going to pull one out just to show you. But they come in a vial like this. Okay, so it's good size. This is your uh, jar. It's a jar. It comes with a dropper. So I'm going to open this one just to show you. You comes with a dropper. Your dropper is slanted. Okay, so you're, it's got a little bit of a slant. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to drop some oil in that dropper. You're going to take and you're going to lightly uh, drop it over your cuticles and then rub it into your cuticles. Super hydrating. Helps to keep those cuticles soft. If you have problems with splitting in your cuticles, it's because you're, um, you're dry right there. And so if you do a lot of paperwork, you'll tend to notice it. If you use a lot of cardboard boxes, you'll tend to notice it. Um, if your skin is just very dry and wintertime cold air sets in, you're going to notice it. So this is great to have on your uh, coffee table, your end table. You can put it on while you're sitting there watching TV. Uh, you can keep it at your desk and put it on once in a while when you're thinking about it. Like, hey, my hands feel a little dry. Um, add your cuticle oil. Um, or at night before you go to bed. Um, you're not going to wash it off when you go to bed. So it has longer time to soak in. $8 a, a, a box. I have two of the sweet almond. Comment the word almond if you want this one. I have three of the pomegranate fig. Just comment fig if you want this one. I have two of the vanilla bean and sugar. Just comment sugar if you want this one. This one is milk and honey. Just comment the word honey if you want this one. And this one is white. Lameda and Oliveira. vera. So uh, lime if you want this one. Okay, and those are $8 each. Okay, let's see. Um, where am I at? I'm right here. This is where I left off after NOLA. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's not on my side. Maybe that's, I was going to say, maybe that was the time she said it was kind of fuzzy. Maybe I got a glitch in my end. Um, Tina says, hello, Miss Amy. Happy Tuesday. Almond for Nola. That one was this one, right? Almond for Nola. You got it. Okay. Uh, next one I have. These are $3. I know some of you like to put your own, um, uh, what do you call them? They're fake nails. My nails are fake, but they're the ones that you do yourself, like press on, right? Well, you get those and they come with cruddy glue or you get them. There's no glue at all. And then you're out running about trying to find you a good nail glue. OK, um, I'm one. I want my nails to stay on longer than a day or two. OK, so I grabbed this because I figured a lot of you might be wanting to use this. This is called five second nail glue. This is the stuff that you use in the beauty shop. This is what keeps those acrylic nails on better than anything else. So there's a few different nail glues out there, but this one's fabulous. It's been around for a long time. This is made by IBD. It's five second nail glue. It does come in a tube. You keep it in this tube standing like this on your counter or desk because once you open the tube, you have to cut the snip the tip and put the little, you know, the size hole you want in the tip. Uh, you keep it in here. It's not going to get air. It's not going to dry out. It's going to last you for a while. So if you're interested in the nail glue, if you're one of those that you like those, or maybe you know somebody that likes those, or maybe you wear acrylics like I do, and you need to keep one of these in your car or your purse in case you snip off a top or you break off a tip of your nail and you want to put it back because you're vain like me. Um, I ain't walking around with no broken nail. I will glue that tip back on. So if you need five second nail glue, uh, this is a name brand. This is not a knockoff or nothing like that. This is an, a genuine five second ultra fast nail glue by, by IBD. Uh, comment the word glue. These are $3 a piece. Okay. Um, Stephanie says number 10, sweet almond and honey milk. Okay, you got the last almond and a honey milk. You got it. Nola, maybe it will help my cuticles. Yes. 
Um, so uh, softening them up first, you want to soften them up first. Keep them hydrated so they're not splitting if you have splitting. If you have overgrowth, soften them up first. Um, if you're going to push them back, you want to soak them. Okay, I have something for that too. So I, I do have something for that too. Uh, and a cuticle stone, Stephanie. You got it. Um, uh, box 10, the clippers for fake nails too, please. Okay, so you want some nippers. Now, I'm going to tell you, nippers were not created to nip off artificial nails. So be very careful what you're doing, okay, girl? But these will, these will cut your nails and help you to take them off. You know you should be soaking them, right? I'm not your manicurist, girl. You're not coming to see me for your services, but I will be telling you. <laughs> and a glue. You got it. She's like, yeah, I need to nip them off. That's that's what you use to nip them off. So, but just be very careful. Uh, add another cuticle stone for my daughter, please. You got it. And um, if you're going to nip off some of your acrylic nails, Please watch your eyes. Please watch your eyes because <laughs> those things, when you nip them, they will whiz and they will get you. Um, I don't have any tweezers right now. That I do not have right now. I do not have tweezers right now. Okay, these are... These are um, your nail bowl. So this one right here... Um, I'll take it out of the plastic so you can see it because plastic on plastic makes a terrible glare. So they're all sealed. They're all new. Um, these are $2. This is your manicure bowl. So what you do with this is you're going to fill it about halfway and you're going to soak your hand in here. This allows you to soak your entire hand in here. Okay. Um, you're going to fill it to about right here. I'm going to mark this bag real quick so that I don't sell this one. Okay. Put my hands all over it. I'll use it as a last case resort sample. Okay. Because I like to get them to you like this. Nobody else has touched it. Okay. Um, when it comes to stuff like this, sanitary is good. So anyhow, you're going to take and you're going to fill it to about halfway. Okay. It's just so that your, your entire nail surface is down in there. Your natural nail. You're not going to use this for soaking off acrylics. Acrylic will eat this plastic. It'll melt it. So this is not for soaking off acrylics. This is for soaking your natural nails. Okay. So you're going to put your hand in here. Great for men too. It's awesome to give your man a, pet, a manicure as well. Or let him soak his hands and clean his nails up. Um, so great Father's Day gift. If you're putting together a thing, he'll be like, what's this for? That's to soak your nails because they're gross. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, put a couple drops. You can use whatever you like. You can get a professional product. You can get it one at Sally's. You can just use body wash. You don't have to get crazy with the stuff. You could even use, um, if you like your bath and body soap, you can put a couple drops of that in here. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to put a couple drops of soap in here or your, or a little bit of your soap from here. Put a little bit of soak in here. You're going to let your fingers soak for about um, 10 minutes is good. 10 minutes is good. Five, five if you're in a hurry, 10 is optimal because that way all the skin gets nice and soft. But about five minutes and then you're going to take this hand out and you're going to work on it because you're, you're doing your own hands. Generally speaking, if you're doing it for somebody else, they soak this hand first. Okay. And then when you're working on this hand, they're soaking this hand next. Okay. So you're going to sit this on the table. You don't carry it around. I'm just showing you. Um, soak your hands. Then, for those of you that need the cuticle stuff, then take and use your uh, your cuticle pusher, right? You're going to use that little orange wood stick, and you're going to gently push your cuticles back, okay? Then you're going to take the little eraser, and you're going to erase the residue that's still attached to the nails, okay? And then you're going to wipe the nails off. You're going to wipe them off. And then what you're going to do is then you're going to start to shape the nail and do all of your business. I don't have to tell you how to do a manicure. You guys can figure that out. But the best way to start caring for your cuticles is soak them. 
soak them before you work on them okay and then after you're done working on them put that oil on you're going to want to put that oil on okay this one is my sample to put my hand down in and show you how to put your hand in there um and then throw the water down the toilet or the sink whichever you prefer don't share water that's just gross these are two dollars you can comment the word bowl the word bowl if you want one of these and i have lots of them okay the word bowl if you want a pedicure a manicure bowl oh rosie's blowing up my chat look at her she's like why she's talking i'm gonna get all this up in here okay let's see um did i get a cuticle eraser yes girl i got you for that i did um thank you rosie uh a bowl for christy and this is my sample i wrote sample on it so you're not getting the one that i put my hands all over you got it christy okay and i have multiples of those so if you want them they're two dollars a piece okay so let me put this glue back this back this back okay uh, next item I have, these are cute if you're building gifts as well. These are little macaron, and inside here are little pads that are moistened to remove your nail polish. So I have these in multiple colors. They're $2 a piece. I have the green one. I have the purple one. I have the light pink, and comment by color, light pink. I have yellow. I have hot pink. And then I also have blue. Okay. So I'll try to stack these up so that you guys can see what the colors look like all in one stack. That's not going to work. Of course not. Why would it? All right, here we go. I'll do two stacks. So you have hot pink, yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple. So if you're interested in any of these, just comment by color. They're $2 a piece, and do they open up? I'll open one. I'll open this color so you can kind of see what these are all about. So, looks like a little cookie. You just twist the top off, and inside you have pads that are pre moistened, and you just remove the polish. Um, you may have to, um, I gotta mark this one sample. Uh, when you get them, so that you can see, let me see if I can show you. I'll use this tip. Uh, you see in there, you're going to have to push down a couple times when you get it because you have to bring the moisture to the top because it's all settled at the bottom when you get it. And then it'll be wet. And then you just clean your polish off. It's not going to work on mine because mine's gel polish. This only works on regular nail polish. All right, let me mark this one as a sample. Okay, keep that there. And there's that. Okay, my time to shine, she says. Look at her. If you want to shine, come over here and work in person, girl. Or come on the live stream, and I'll put you a little square. Um, Stephanie says purple and mint green. Mint green and purple. You got it. Okay, so there's those. Next, I have... Next I have this one right here. Um, these are $18, okay? This is another uh, brand that's used in the salon. This is called Nail Tech, is the brand. Bright like a diamond. <laughs> um, this one is called Nail Tech. In here, you're going to get the foundation. Um, oh, let me see if I can tell you the right way. Um, it's a recovery kit for weak, damaged nails, okay? It restores weak, damaged nails and toes. You can use it on both. Um, you're going to get uh, foundation. Foundation is a formula that fills unsightly ridges and nail damage while protecting the natural nail. A unique, a unique base coat features a special blend of strengtheners, conditioners, microfibers, and natural fillers that smooth uneven nail surfaces while protecting the nail. Then you're going to get extra, okay? So first you get foundation, which is this one. Then you're going to get extra, which is the one in the middle. 
An extra is a concentrated formula designed for short-term use. As the condition of your nail improves, choose Nail Tech Formula 1, 2, or 3. That's right for you. So this is just like you have, you really need to get your nails in order. Uh, usually after you've used this for a while, you don't have to use it anymore. Um, Renew is a unique blend of essential oils and rich moisturizers combined with effective natural ingredients. Renew nourishes and conditions to protect and maintain healthy cuticles and nails. So that is this one back here. So if you want the three step, all of these work together. You're going to put this one on and this one on, and then this one goes on the edges of your cuticle. And when you feed your cuticle, you're also feeding your nail because your nail grows from the back across the matrix of the finger. And so your nails actually start back in here. Okay. So if you want this one, you can comment the word recovery. I do have uh, three of these available and they're $18 each, okay? Um, for your daughter's Valentine's, nice. You're a sweet mama. You're a sweet mama. Okay, these right here, um, I grabbed these. I did pick these up. Um, these were um, extra medical supplies that I picked up from an estate. They're unused, they're all new, unused. I don't get anything that's been used twice. Um, these were all new, all new in the package. Um, these are zinc oxide based. These are latex free. This is flexible, waterproof, and washable tape. Okay. Um, this is like the tape that you would put over, um, you, you know, like when you're, when they tape down your IVs. And they put that special tape across that to hold it in place. And it's latex free so that you don't have no uh, um, allergic reaction. That's like this kind of tape. Okay. It's wide. This is not a skinny tape. So this is going to be if you have issues with latex. Okay. Uh, let's see. Take it out of the box. My hands are clean, but just uh, so you get that much of a roll. Okay. Latex free. Never used. These have never been used. Um, but this is going to be a kind of like almost like a clear pink see-through tape. And this is going to be used to, you can use it for dressings. You can use it if you're holding down things. Maybe you have um, a port that you have to keep in place, maybe in your stomach or on your arm. Or maybe you have one up here and you have to keep it in place. Um, this is a nice uh, tape to do so. These are a dollar roll if you're interested all you're going to do is type the word tape, and I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six rolls available. They're a dollar a roll. Okay. For the Cane Corso ears, I don't know if this will adhere to, I don't know if you have to have a special tape for, um, there's hair there, right? I don't know. I don't know. You want to try one? You want two of them? You want three of them? You got three, Stephanie. Um, you do want to try one? You got it. You let me know, Rose, and then that would be good. I'm not ever going to get them again, but it would be good to know if somebody needs to know that. And Stephanie, I got you for three. You're using sports tape. Um, sports tape has a lot more um, adhesion um, because it's made to be on uh, jointed areas that flex. And so it has to really adhere. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that has enough adhesion for that. I would be guessing. And I don't want to guess wrong. Um, okay. Um, I know that Rochelle is here. And she wanted to see the men's stuff. And because I can go through that faster, I'll show it first. Um, so before previously, you guys know that I carried a uh, lip bang. And um, lip bang, I did get it in. Um, but they came up with a men's line. They came up with a men's line. And so um, I grabbed it so that you guys could have an option. Um, I used to carry the Scully one. 
I can't get my hands on it anymore. Um, they don't offer it through the same hub that I use. Um, okay, this one, this one, and this one all comes in four fragrance. Okay, um, I need this tag. I need this tag because this is this is a new product for me. Um, so you know that I carried Lip Bang, and I do have it in as well. Um, they came up with a men's line. So I have four, three options for the men. I have oil, I have balm, and I have wax. They're all different prices. They're not all the same price. So your um, oil is going to be almost, almost two ounces of oil. Um, I haven't opened these, so I'm going to open one and look at it. What does it look like? So this is for your men that have their beard hair going. Uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping that hydrated and cleaned up because if not, it's going to smell like cheese, like beet. So you want to encourage them. If they're going to grow it, keep it nice, right? Most of them do. Um, this one is nice because it's not a dropper. It's a spray. So they can kind of spray like what we do our hair. They can kind of spray their beard and work it through, and it's going to be nice. So this is the bottle of spray. This is the beard oil. Okay, camera, focus. Um, this is your hemp fragrance. This one is your hemp fragrance. It comes in a box like this. Okay. Um, increase strength, soften coarse hair, shine, repair damage, hydrate, and increase volume. Um, no chemicals, all vegan, handmade, and natural. Um, let's see if it gives you any, any description on the fragrance. Apply three to four pumps into the palm and spread evenly with your palms and fingers. Distribute the oil evenly throughout your beard. Do not forget the sides too. It's got a lot of great ingredients. I'll read you some of them. How's that? Uh, the hemp one has hemp, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, pumpkin oil, Grape seed oil, sweet orange oil. Oh, this probably smells nice. Uh, cassia cinnamon bark extract, apricot oil, rosemary, tea tree, um, and vitamin E. Okay, so wonderful, wonderful. This one has hemp. You can comment hemp. I only have uh, two of each fragrance. I got it to see if you guys are interested. Hemp, if you want hemp. The oil is $14, and this one's more affordable than the Scully was as well. So $14 if you want the oil. You have the option of hemp, unscented. So if you don't want any fragrance, unscented. Um, this one is cedar wood. Cedar wood is awesome. If you like that woodsy smell, cedar wood. And then you also have tobacco. So this one's going to have like a sweet, uh, to me, it reminds me of, Tobacco and leather at the same time. So, manly. Manly fragrances. Hemp, unscented, cedar wood, or tobacco. Okay, if you like the oil. What is the smell like? Well, I'm not going to open them because they're sealed. But I know familiarity with them. Your cedar wood's going to have that woodsy smell. Your tobacco is going to have kind of like a sweet not sweet like sugar, but kind of like that sweet vanilla tobacco leather type fragrance. My man takes care of his massive beard. See, that's awesome. Most of them do. There's a few scallywags out there, but most of them do. Um... It holds on for life, right? Uh, argon oil is good for the beard. Nice. Uh, Rochelle says cedar wood. You got it. She's like, I like my man to smell like he come up out of the woods. I'm just teasing. I like the smell of cedar wood. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Rochelle. Okay, same fragrances. I'm all blowing bubbles. Stop already. Same fragrances, okay, um, but this one here is your balm. 
Your bomb is going to come in a um, pot. So it kind of looks like when you have stuff for your hair, similar kind of pot. Uh, this one right here is your balm. So this has more consistency. Balm is used to hydrate and it helps give you a little bit of um, formability, I guess you could say. Um, so balm, if you want the balm, again, unscented tobacco, hemp, or cedarwood. And that's if they prefer a balm. The balms are $12, okay? Then you have the wax. The wax just comes in a stronghold. There's no choices or options. All there is is one wax. Comment wax if you want the wax. This is for those that they want to shape their beard to hold a certain shape when they're grooming themselves. And it gives them that, um, it's like when you put product in your hair, you style your hair and you're using the, we use hair wax. It's same thing for the beard. Just allows them a little more control over the shape of their beard. Wax, if you want wax, wax is $14. Um, I don't see a fragrance on here at all. I'm looking. Um, it's going to have a little bit. It's got some rosemary in it and some cinnamon. So it's going to have a little bit and some tea tree. It's going to have a little fragrance, but it's probably not going to be very, like, predominant. So wax if you want the wax. She says, and give me that tobacco balm. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to dress my man up good. She's like, where are you going? <laughs> Hey, MKT. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so that's the wax. That's the oil. That's the balm. And then I have beard combs. These are wooden. Let's see if they make it so I can get into it. I don't know if I can get into this box. Yes. Okay, so these open up like this. And you have these beautiful wooden beard combs. So you will know that the wood helps to grab hold of those uh, oils and drag them through the beard and make it more even. So as you're moisturizing the beard and you're combing the beard, uh, the wood is going to get more seasoned. So got a cool looking mustache right there. So if you need a beard comb, the beard combs are $9. These ones are $9. So, again, if you're shopping for Father's Day, Anniversary, Valentine's Day, these are awesome. Okay? Comb if you want the comb. Okay, let's see. Uh, he has one he uses called Appalachian Gold, sold by Stiffies. Oh, my God. He's not allowed to wear it without... Right? Yeah. Every once in a while, my husband will get a hair and he'll start putting his stuff on. I'm like, who are you trying to impress? Where are you going? He's like, what? It's there. I have to use it. I was like, uh, you better go wash that off. <laughs> I know what you mean. I feel like that when he wears his cologne. I'm like, uh, where are you going? You need to go nowhere with that on. You better go get that back off. I, I tease him like that all the time. I'm always teasing him, right? It, but does it not make them have the biggest grin on their face? You know it does. You know it does. Yeah. You know it gives them the biggest grin on their face. Okay, so those are the products that I have. If those sell out, I'll get more. If not, I'll have them till they sell. Okay? If it's not something that's uh everybody needs, I'm not gonna get a bunch of it all over the time, all over, all over. Okay, these are um, $6 a piece if you're, anybody's interested and you need to get a new nose and ear hair trimmer. Maybe they're just coming of age where now they don't just shave and stuff. They actually need to keep up some little grooming of their little bushes. Um, this one right here is for the nose and the ear trimmer. If you want it, it's $6. And I have multiples. Um, let me see. Battery operated requires a double A battery. Double A batteries are not included. Okay, so trimmer if you need that one. I have one pack left of the uh, nail implements. 
Um, it comes in a nice little snap case closure. Um, if you want this one, this one is $8. Just comment the word kit. I only have one of those, but they make nice uh, gifts. Again, if you're shopping early, Valentine's Day, anniversary, Father's Day, just because I love you and you need to care for yourself a little bit more. Maybe it's one of those gifts. They love the attention, right? Right. Okay, Stephanie, you want the trimmer? You got it. You got it. Okay, um, so we're done here. All I have left is polish. All right. Um, I'm going to do polish last because it takes the longest. Um, I do have more Morphe coming in. It should have already been here today, but because of the weather, there's probably a delay in the delivery. So I do have some more of that coming. Okay, these are uh, body care. I'm going to call these body care. Um, I only have a couple of each one. Um, this one right here, I have three available. This one's going to be the word eucalyptus. This one has um, body butter and bath salts, okay? So this you put into your bath and you soak in it, and then this is your hydration afterward, okay? Um, if you don't like to soak with salt, you can always take a little bit of um, uh, oil as a carrier, um, essential oil, coconut oil. If you have coconut oil, it's probably the best one to use. Uh, grab you some coconut oil grab you a teaspoon of this, rub it in your hands and rub it on the parts of your body that you want to soften up and you can make yourself your own little body scrub if you don't like soaking. But this is your salt scrub for soaking, Himalayan and eucalyptus, and this is your eucalyptus body butter. These are $6 if you want them. Comment eucalyptus for this one and it's, uh, I have three of them. I brain fart. Um, this one, I also have three. This one is your, um, this one is your sugar scrub. So this one is actually a scrub. Scrub yourself. I will give you a little tip. If you're going to use sugar scrub, please make sure that you um, clean your shower when you're done because you will slip and fall if you leave this residue in your tub. Um, also, you want to make sure that you wash out your tub after using a sugar scrub because you can get ants. Here's a tip. Sugar scrubs bring on ants if you don't clean up after yourself. So this one right here is your pink Himalayan sugar scrub rose hip oil. So light rose fragrance on this one. And then this is your after body butter. Okay, so comment the word um, green if you want this one. And I have three of those. And then this one, I only have two. I only have two of this one. This one is your body scrub. Oh, come on, camera. This one is uh, sea salt and coconut oil body scrub. You're better off getting a salt scrub than a sugar scrub, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, you're better off with salt than sugar, so you don't have to worry about ants. Just saying if you're prone. Um, and this one also is done with coconut oil. So this is actually a really nice blend. Uh, Gluten-free. If you are allergic to gluten, that is an awesome feature. And then this is your body butter afterward. Coconut, if you want this one. And I only have two of the coconut. And it's $6 for the dual pack. Hey, Jocelyn, welcome, welcome. Carol Ann. See, I don't see Carol Ann. I see Carol Ann down here in her comments after the fact. But I see right here, Joyce says, hi, Carol Ann, but I'm not seeing Carol Ann Pryor. See, I'm missing another comment. Hmm. Uh, Rosa says eucalyptus. So if I'm not seeing your comments, guys, please make sure that you repeat them. Okay. Um, see, that's weird to me. How many ounces? Uh, ounces, they're four ounces each. Four and four. Um, oh, no, you're good. It's never wrong to ask questions, girl, even if you notice it afterward. Never wrong. Somebody else might have been wondering the same thing. See, I see you here and here, Carol Ann, but that's the first. That's kind of weird. It happened to somebody else as well, so it's not just you. Hey, Colleen, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so those are there. Uh, next one I have are some palettes. Um, this is what I have left over of these brands. Um, I won't be getting any more of these in. This one was a one-time buy. Okay, so this one right here is uh, $18. I have three of them available. Um, I'm not selling this one. It's not been used or touched, but I just, it's open, so I'm not going to sell this one. Um, I probably give this one to my grandbaby, uh, granddaughter. She's not a baby anymore. She's like, Nana, I'm big now. I know, but you're still a baby. You're always going to be a baby. So there. Anyhow, um, this one right here has your colors, your shadows, and your glitters. Your shadows and your glitters. You're going to get, um, let's see, 30 colors. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you're going to get 30 colors, and then you're going to get eight colored glitters. And these are little jars. I'll take one out since I'm keeping this one for my grandbaby. Take it out so you can have a better idea, come on, of the jar. So this is the jar of glitter. It is a jar, okay? So it's not like a little tube. It's an actual little jar of glitter. Um, this one is the silver. You're going to have silver. You have uh, red hearts, pink stars, uh, some green, uh, some multicolor like discs. Uh, the silver is the finest one. These ones have more of like almost like a uh, confetti glitter. Um, lots of fun for the girls to work on their makeup and very bright colors. If you want this one, it's $18. You can comment the word princess. Princess for this one, and this one is $18. Okay, I have three of the princess available. Yeah, it's YouTube. Uh, I did, Colleen. I have four different fragrances available on the beard oil. I have four different fragrances available, and they're $14 each. And this is made by Lip Bang. You know the um, the Lip Bang for the lips? I do have it. I'll show it. It's, I'm working my way that direction. Uh, but they came out with a men's line of beard oil. So this one is your uh, cedar wood. Um, this one has a spray, not a dropper. Um, this one is your tobacco. This one's your tobacco scent. This one is unscented. And this one is your hemp. Okay. Um, they're $14 each. And you just comment fragrance. Hemp, tobacco, cedar wood, or unscented. Yes, um, the uh, cedar wood, I only have one. The others, I have two of each. Yes, thank you, Rose. Yes, $14. Hey, Anna. I know they'll always be my grandbabies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, um, this one, I only have one. I only have one of this one. Um, let me make sure that I keep that plastic there. This one right here is a uh, neutral color. So you have taupes, you have light gray, you have some um, kind of like burgundy colors. You have golden colors, kind of mustardy golden colors. And then you have your white backgrounds. Um, if you're familiar with that, you're going to use your lighter colors to be like your uh, priming color. And then you put your other shadows over. So like you would use these lighter colors as like your highlight in your shadow or as your base. Okay. So neutral on this one. I only have one of the neutral. And this one is $12. And you can just comment neutral. Okay. That one is $12. Um, hello, Lisa D. Welcome, welcome. Colleen says she wants the cedar wood. Popular. Popular, popular. Okay, you got it, Colleen. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Truly. Okay, the next one I have, this one is by JCAT. 
This one right here is called Dreamland. So this one's called Dreamland. Okay. Um, let me get a hold of this one. There are magnetic closures on these guys. I just want to make sure I keep the plastic over the colors. And there you go. These are the colors that you can get matte and glitters in your palette. Um, this one has 21 colors. Okay. Again, magnetic closure. You do have a mirror up top. Uh, magnetic closure. I slid it. Darn it. I like them when they tape them down. Some brands tape, some don't. Uh, this one's called Fantasy Dreamland. You can just comment the word dream. This one is $10. Okay. This one is $10. You can just comment dream. You're very welcome, Colleen. Okay, this one right here. And I thought these were all the same and they are not. Okay, this one is going to be the word butterfly. She has a butterfly on her face. This one's going to be the word butterfly. Um, this one is $12 by Romantic Beauty. Okay, $12 by Romantic Beauty. Let me take this down so you can see the whole picture. Um, you open this one up. This one does not have a plastic on the front, so I'll try to be very careful not to touch anything. Very pretty colors. You do have some with the frost in it. Uh, it's more frost than glitter over here on this side. And then you also have your matte colors. So very pretty. Comment butterfly. I only have one butterfly. I only have one of the butterfly. Okay. This one, you're going to comment the word cartoon. You can comment the word cartoon on this one. See, that one didn't have the plastic in it. I wonder if I should not sell that one because this one has plastic. This one has very bright colors. These are super pretty. Um, oh, the cover. This one has, we're going to call this one cartoon. Okay, cartoon. Again, magnetic closure. Okay, get, get the plastic where it belongs. And again, very vibrant colors. Pretty blues, greens. There's some orangey yellow colors, some purples. Uh, this one's the word cartoon. And cartoon, I have two of them. Okay. I have two of this one. Weird how that one didn't have, that one was new. That one didn't have a plastic in it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rosa, you want dream? You got it. You got it, you got it. Okay. Um, lash glue? Nope, girl, I don't have lash glue. Those, the last of those went out with the, um, the gift packs. Remember the gift packs, right? Okay, so that's those. All right, these ones are $3 a piece. These ones are going to be $3 a piece. Um, these ones are actual lipsticks. Lipsticks. Okay. They are sealed. They're not open. Um, this is its color. This one is called Witty. It's kind of like a mauve color. A little bit deeper mauve. Comment Witty if you want this one. There's only one of the Witty. Um, this one is called... Unrivaled, unrivaled. You can just comment the word rival for this one. Okay. And then you have one of the wicked. This one is wicked. It's more red. Okay. So you can see the difference. This is more berry. Unrivaled is more berry. I have two of those. And uh, wicked, I only have one, and this is more red. Those are three dollars. Uh, Rose, you want witty? You got it. Uh, three dollars, Stephanie. They're three dollars each. Mm hmm. I need to get my chola on. She's funny. Um, Colleen, there was only one of the witty. Not a PTO mom. You mean a PTA mom? 
Oh, that's funny. Uh, Rosa says wicked. Um, wicked. Were you claiming red, Rosie? Because you got to use the word, girl. You got to use the word. What was the first one? The first one was witty, but it's all gone, Stephanie. That one's all gone. And I don't have any lip liners. I don't have any of the lip liners. Okay. Um, this one right here, I have four of the same color. This one I do have four of. This one's from Burt's Bees. Um, this one's called Magenta Rush. Magenta Rush. And this one is a lipstick. And this one's from Burt's Bees. So this one is your magenta color. Okay, they're all sealed. So if you want this one, just comment the word magenta. And I have four of this one. I do have four of this one. Okay, and the word for that one is magenta. Okay, this one, I only have one. This one is matte style. This one is called color statement. Hold on a second. Is that the brand? Um, we're just going to call this one, let's see, this one is more of like a chocolate brown. It has a number, not a color. But it is very, very much the color of chocolate. So you can comment chocolate if you want that one. Um, the message above that one. Did you get the message above that one? Above this one, oh, right here. It wasn't there a minute ago. Todd just suggested we get outside our box, do something different, and join the PTO. I told him I'd rather shove a sharpened pencil down my throat. I didn't get that comment. And you thought my comment was rough. You think my you think I'm an ant squisher? Whew! I got competition. Um. Okay. So I got that. I'll get back down here. So I did get the message above. Now, is witty like a pale rose color? No. Pity. Witty is more of a. Where did it go? Pity is more of a, like a, a mauve, more of a, like a dusty rose, like a dusty rose color. That was the color that you picked. If you don't want it, just say so, and we'll pass it on to the next. Uh, Rochelle, you want one of the magenta? You got it. And Rosé wants chocolate. Um, Rosé for chocolate, Rochelle for the birds. Um, yes, Colleen. Um, so there's beard balm and beard wax and a beard comb. So the balm, the balm comes in the same fragrances as the oil. The balms are $12. So these ones come in a pot. I can't open it again. Let me try. These ones come in a pot like this, kind of like what your hair product comes in, that kind of a pot. So this is your uh, balm, comes in the same fragrances, the hemp, the cedarwood, the tobacco, and unscented. This one is your wax. It just comes in one style, just wax. So this is that for that firm hold. The wax is 14, comment wax if you want it. Um, if you want the balm, uh, just put the word, the letter B, and then the fragrance, hemp, tobacco, cedarwood, or unscented. And then uh, the beard comb, and this is a wooden comb, and the wooden comb is nine. Let me see if I get this open again. Come on. You opened up so nice the last time. So this one opens up this way, and you have your wooden comb inside. Oh, this is a different color than the other one. Oh, so you'll get a random color. Unless you pick this one, you'll get this color. The other one was a darker color. Wow, there was no marking on there for color. Hmm. 
Anti-static natural sandalwood dual action teeth for all beard types. Totally unique, natural, and cool. Um, the balm is $12. You do want it. Okay. Yes, Mama Ames. Hey, she was ready to listen when she came in. Remember I told you? Mm-hmm. You know how long she was out there? The whole live. Yep. Yes. 12 for the balm, 14 for the oil, and 14 for the wax, 9 for the comb. Okay, any other questions on that stuff? Yeah, don't listen to Rochelle. She don't even know anything about what she's talking about. She just makes stuff up. She's the person that she gives the wrong answer when the teacher calls on her because she wasn't paying attention anyway. He was asking about one thing, and she gave the answer to something from the last class. Uh, cedarwood balm instead of the oil. Okay, you got it. Cedarwood balm instead of the oil. Okay. Cedarwood balm. Got it. You got it, girl. You got it. <laughs> Play is messing up. She's messing up. Teacher called her out. Hmm. Uh, my man has the comb and he likes the balm better than the oil. Yeah, everybody has a different... Uh, even us ladies, right? Some of us like mousse. Some of us like gel. Some of us like wax. Some of us like that other tacky stuff. The goo, right? Just depends on what your method is, right? And then she sends a blank comment. That's, I don't know the answer. Best to just be quiet. Just kidding. Uh, Mama Ain says the Pinterest moms can bake the cookies and cupcakes and I will show up and support them by buying some. See, everyone has their talents. There you go. There you go. I know what you're talking about. I I was not in no PTA thing either. I'd be like, I'll, I'll be having to slap a mom. I'd be like, that was the stupidest idea ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, no, you're not. Nah, probably. I'm probably not. I'm probably not making it up. All right. I only have one of each of these. I only have one of each of these. Okay. Um, okay. This one is called, uh, we're going to call this one macadamia. The color is what you see here. Okay. This one is called uh, Attitude, and this one is called Masterpiece, okay? I only have what you see here, one of each. I only have one of each. Masterpiece is number 802. Uh, Attitude is number 806, and Macadamia is number 808. There's only one of each. All three of these are matte. Uh, these are by L'Oreal. These are by L'Oreal. They're $3 each if you want them. Those are real lipstick, not the lippies. Okay. My man likes bomb better. Okay, got that one. I feel like everybody's man is a biker on here, or am I tripping? Because if that's the case, I need to find me a Sons of Anarchy type. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's that's a, that was a good comment. It's a dancing person. I can't help it. Streamyard doesn't share things with you. Oh, that was a um yeah. It edited you out, girl. It said no. You can't have none of that here. None of that here, Rochelle. <laughs> uh, Rochelle says, Rose, the beard is where it's at, girl. Once you go beard, you don't go back. Oh goodness. It's attitude, a nude or brownish. Attitude is attitude is more brownish. It's not a nude. That would be more like the academia one or macadamia one. 
This one's going to be more of your nude. This one has more brown to it. Cocoa brown. Colleen says, no, my man's a trucker. He just rocks his beard. Hey, Darcy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Mama Aim. She says, mine's clean. He's all shaven. I don't know if he is or not. I don't think I've ever seen him, but just I'm just joking. <laughs> I need to find me one of those, one of those two. <laughs> A trucker. You funny. Uh, Rosé wants the attitude. You got it. <laughs> oh, goodness. She's funny. You guys need to hook her up with one of your friends. Um... My man is a machinist, a machinist, right? Err. <laughs> that probably kind of sounded kind of pirate, didn't it? Eh, it is what it is when you're talking to me, right? All right, here we are with the lip bang. Uh, some of you have had this before. If you like your lips to feel like they are really getting a reaction, really tingly, really... Uh, it feels like bee sting. Truth of the matter, it feels like a bee sting on your lips. Um, it's because your lips are reacting to the cinnamon and the rosemary. If you have any allergies to cinnamon and rosemary, do not claim this, okay? But this actually will cause your lips to buzz. Please do not kiss your children after you've put this on. You kiss them on their forehead, their forehead's going to start buzzing. It's going to start tingling like they were, you know, it's buzzing, okay? Um, it's because your skin is reacting to the cinnamon and the rosemary, and it's sending blood to that those the surface of the skin. And so it will buzz. Literally, this stuff makes you feel like your lips are um, bigger, and it's because blood is rushing there, and it's reacting to the cinnamon and the rosemary. So it's not that your lips get fat. But they are going to feel like they're really full. Okay. Um, and this stuff is what it says. It's not. This is. There's no gimmick in this stuff. And if there's any of you here that have gotten this from me before. And you can say, yep, that's what it does. Please let them know. Okay. Do not kiss your children when you have this on your lips. Get your man all you want. But don't get your kids. Okay. Uh, the first time I put it on and I gave my husband a kiss, he didn't know what was coming. Yeah. Okay, let's see. CNC mechan mechan machinist, right? It's a machinist looking like a bootlegger. Oh, dang it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I have to say that's pretty cool. Uh, Darcy says, I've been trying to be quiet and the biker comment got me. Mine is... Ooh, Darcy. Darcy. She tries to be all quiet on her lives. All like she's quiet and a little bit. Did you guys see her? Okay. I have to say this because, you know, in the chat, things don't always come across so cool in the chat. But you know what? When Darcy got dressed up for Halloween and she was like the Queen of Hearts, is that kind of like what you were going for, right? The Queen of Hearts? She was stinking amazing. Her, Darcy, it was amazing. And you know what? She played it so well. Like, your, your natural self played that character perfectly. Like, I couldn't stop looking at the stinking screen when it was your turn. I was like, no, she did. She did that so good. And I remember you weren't feeling good that night and you had to leave early. But, girl, you killed it. Just saying. I just had to tell you that. Stephanie says, my husband, or my man, my man, my man is a trucker who loves sons of anarchy. Right? Right? Just saying. Colleen says, mine too. He is a Tennessee man. Right? I tried to move to Tennessee. I tried. My man is a California man. I'm going to have to go drop him off in Tennessee for a while. <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay. Darcy says both. 
drives all the larger equipment and a bike. Nice. And I did get you for attitude, so don't be giving me any, okay? I got you, girl. She's like, uh, I think she's ignoring me. I'm going to have to give her a little attitude. Uh, my son loves that show, right? Right? Oh, goodness. You guys are all relating to one another. <laughs> Rochelle Luther, yes, it's the best. I did not like the Mayans at all. And it was too, mm, they tried too hard with that show. They tried a little too hard with it. You know, they had to compete with what had already been out there. So they did They did what they could with it and tried to um, uh, pick up where the other one kind of left off in a sense of picking up that side of the story because it was never told kind of thing, I guess you could say. My man is from Tennessee, too. Look at you guys. Plump lips, ladies. Yes, small world. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to these. Only one has color. The others are not colored. It's just a lip balm. Okay, only one has. Oh, creepy doll. I didn't think you were creepy at all. I thought you looked like the Queen of Hearts. Look, she's at it again. <laughs> she's like, I'm not screaming at you. I just gave you three lipsticks sticking up. Uh, Mama Ames says, send him to the East Coast for a while, Rita. We will turn him into a country boy for you. I'm just saying, I'm going to take him out there. He's good at camping. Like, he'll fit in with all that kind of stuff. Like, roughing it kind of thing. he get the hang of it. But, yeah, just saying. Is Rita seeing any of my comments? Cool Ranch, I just saw that one. You said plump lips, ladies. What else did you say? Are you Are you getting filtered, too? Are you guys being bad somewhere? Girl, that is the first comment I see from you. Literally, that is the only comment I see of yours, Cool Ranch. What's going on with the comments, guys? You guys must be being bad somewhere. And she says, small, what, what colors you have in the plump sticks? Okay, I'm going to show them right now. Um, make another comment, Cool Ranch. That's so weird. Uh, Cool Ranch, I think YouTube is being wonky today. Yeah, because it's, um, it's only people on uh, YouTube that this has happened to. It's you, happened to you, happened to Carol Ann, and happened to, um, Kathy Eddie. It happened to... And there's, I don't, there's no rhyme or reason. They plump my lips. Actually, they, they do because blood's rushing. And so there'll be a little tiny bit of a swell. Okay. Because blood is going to rush to your lips. Uh, I'm not being bad. Except telling Mama Ames to go to the backyard with Dixie and take her pencil with her. I didn't see that. But I do have to say, what's the pencil for? Oh, I know, because she was going to stick it down her throat. <laughs> okay, this is the only tinted one. This is the only tinted one. Okay, I can get more tints, but um, tints didn't usually move for me before. If you guys are interested in the tints, I'll get more of the tints. So this one's called Let's Make Out. Let's make out, and it's got a sweet, it's like a sweet vanilla. Sweet vanilla is like sweet vanilla. So this is the color, okay? So it's got a tint to it. Um, I do think that there is a couple other tinted ones, but I only got this one. This one was like the most popular, so I grabbed it. Um, this says, beware, not for crybabies. Consider yourself warn. warned, okay? So um, your lips will buzz with this. You will fill it. So if you want this one, just comment the word tint. Um, the, the tinted one is $8. The tinted one is $8. Okay. Um, and this is your traditional chapstick size. Okay. Um, so if you like this one, comment the word tint. The tinted ones are eight. The non-tinted are seven. Okay. 
Um, let's see. Mama Ames is laughing. <laughs> right? Uh, swell all you want. I'm going to start putting it. Oh, I'm not reading the rest of your comment. Uh, I was thinking it's other ones I had posted pictures for. Oh, no, no, no. Not those ones. I'd say that's a great trade-off, Cool Ranch Dixie, over the... <laughs> right? The comment was a while ago. That's why I... Nope, wasn't seeing it, girl. I went all the way up and I didn't see it. Uh, Rochelle, you want a tinted one? You got it. Okay. Now, these are non-tinted. These ones are your uh, lip... Lip... Freak. Okay. They're called Lip Freak. Uh, the strongest buzzing lip balm in the whole world. And they literally can say it. Um, it is 100% natural. I will tell you what's in these. Beeswax, sweet almond oil, sweet orange oil, uh, ginger, cinnamon oil. That's what's going to be your respondent. Uh, vitamin E, rosemary oil extract, um, st um, the stevia, so there's no sugar in these as well. So they're that sweetness that you have when you lick your lips and you can taste it. You're not going to get any sugar. So this one right here is your uh, bubble trouble. So this is your bubble gum flavor. Comment the word bubble if you want this one. Again, don't kiss your kids. Don't give this to your kids. This one right here is your berry sinister. Comment berry if you want the berry. No tint in these. This one right here is your Atomic Cherry. Comment cherry if you want the cherry. And this one is your Coco Loco Mint. So this is your, um, your, uh, shoot, I just had a brain fart. I just straight had a brain fart. Whatever. That's your flavor. I don't know what I had a brain fart. Just comment mint on this one. Okay. $7 for the lip balm. Okay. Um, for reals, you put it on, whatever your lips touch, it will buzz. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about it. You can think that through. Uh, Colleen, you have a bubble. And Rochelle has bubble. You got it. Okay. So here is an add-on if anybody wants an add-on. If you want to add on a lip scrub, these lip scrubs are made with crushed shell, not with sugar granules. These are, um, so you're not going to get any exposure to sugar because I know a lot of you, that is very important. Um, another thing is uh, those crushed shells are a great exfoliator, and you don't have to worry about, you know, getting that sugar um, to your lips. So um, if you want to add on a lip scrub, you can add on a little pot of lip scrub. It's actually a full-size pot. Uh, if you want to add on a lip scrub, you can add a lip scrub. If you grab a bang, a lip bang, if you grab one of these, and you want to add on a scrub, you can add it for a dollar. So it would be $8 for the two. If you just want a lip scrub, they're $2 a piece. Okay. So if you get one of these and one of these, you're going to save a dollar on the scrub. Okay. Um, if not, these are $2 each. Okay. Uh, these come in the fragrance or the flavor of vanilla, apple, almond, or cherry. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little trick here. If you want the most, the most out of your lip freak for your lips, you do the scrub on your lips first. You're going to remove all the dead skin off your lips, exposing fresh new skin that is going to be highly absorbent and highly reactive. And then you go and you apply your lip freak or your lip bang. I call them lip bang. Uh, you apply this after you have scrubbed your lips and O-M-G. That's all I'm going to say. O-M-G. So just saying. And it's good to take off the dead skin. Okay, let's see. I got uh, Colleen for bubble. I got Rochelle for bubble. Mama Ames, I got you for mint. Rochelle says, add two lip scrubs, please. Apple and vanilla. Apple. Oh, come on. 
apple, and vanilla. You got it, Rochelle. And Mama Ace, I got you for the mint one. Okay. So if anybody wants lip scrubs, they're $2 each. If you grabbed one of the lip freaks, a dollar will be removed from that. Okay. Okay. I do have milk. Girl, do you want some? It's $3. It's not five. It's three. I did show the milk. Yep. Would you like one or did you want more than one? Um, there's setting powder is $3. Setting spray is $3. There was two primers left. Those are $3. There's lash curlers for $3. Um, what else? I don't know what part you came in at. I have two left of the snake venom. Um, this is just a small syringe type vial. Um, this is for under the eyes. I just have two of them. This was something that I had purchased and um, I prefer my snail slime. I just It's just my preference, but this one's for just under the eyes. So I do have two of the snake venom. You could come at Snake. Those are $3. Mama Ames says she wants a scrub. What flavor, girl? What flavor? There's vanilla, almond, apple, or cherry. Vanilla, almond, apple, or cherry. Okay. And it is a full-size little pot of scrub. Uh, take the scrub. A little goes a long way. Your lips aren't very big. Get the scrub, rub it across your lips, kind of rub it in, just like you would uh, smooth on some uh, lip gloss or balm or whatever. Just rub it around a little bit in a circular motion. Don't go crazy. Your lips are made out of very gentle skin. Uh, just rub that on there. Get a warm washcloth. Wipe it all off. Then apply your stuff. And girl... Uh, I'm going to tell you, the first time you use it, you're going to be like, what in the world? You're like, uh, yeah, she wasn't exaggerating on this stuff. <laughs> you will take one, please. You got it, Colleen. You got it. Okay. Uh, two. You want two of them. You got it, Colleen. Okay, um, vanilla. She says, I will take a vanilla. You got it, Mom Ames. Okay, yes. The scrubs, they're wonderful, right? And they do last a long time. I still have a few from last. Yep, yep. Uh, Mama Ames says, give me a cherry balm with a cherry scrub too. Okay, cherry. That one's very girl. If you <laughs> you don't have a daughter-in-law yet, I'm gonna shut up. I'll be like, you have a daughter-in-law. You bust out with one of those. She'd be like, what is this? She'll think you're the best mama ever. <laughs> like, girl, I want you to have plump lips. She says, last sale. Geez, I knew what you meant, girl. And don't eat it either. Yeah, don't eat lip scrub off of your lips. They tell you with the sugar ones, oh, you just lick your lips when you're done. That's gross. Ugh, that's gross. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. See? Great, great gift. Something they're not going to run into when they're out and about shopping. I know my mother-in-law, she gives us gifts, and sometimes we're like, lady, where do you shop at? She goes, I'm not telling my secrets. She won't tell us where she buys gifts at because she always finds unique stuff, and she just won't tell. She won't give it up. We've been trying for years to find out all the different places that she shops, and we can't figure it out. All right, I have two of these. These are $6 if you're interested. I only have two of them. These are fantastic if you like to blow out your hair and, you know, make it have some style as you're blowing it out. These are fabulous. Uh, comment the word brush. They're $6 each. I only have two. I only have two. Just comment the word brush. 
All right, this one and this one and this one. And then this one goes here and this one goes here. All right. Now, this is Morphe. And if you're not familiar with Morphe, um, it is a brand out there. Um, their pigments are awesome, I have to say. If you like your uh, colors to come out on your eyes and uh, be true and vibrant, uh, and you've never tried the Morphe line, um, you may want to try it. Um, I get these when I'm able to get them at a very good price, and then I try to bring them to you at a price that's still a good price, not your regular um, on-site or Ulta price. Okay. Um, okay, Rosé. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not saying nothing about nothing, okay? Okay, so nobody for the brushes. Those go back over here. Um, so even their brushes, you will find if you've ever tried their makeup brushes, the quality is amazing. Uh, very soft, very nice, nicely made, uh, good quality. You can use them and take care of them and have them for a long time. They're not going to fall apart on you. Um, I know sometimes you'll get a brush and it'll be great, and but it only lasts for a little while just because the quality of the um, um, the making of it wasn't very good. So anyhow, these right here are um, 13. These ones right here, your choice in color. Uh, these ones are $13, okay? You're going to get nine colors in these, and I have a variety of different colors of this one. Um, I can take them out so you can get a better view of the colors. The colors are on the back. But I will take them out because, you know, true color is always better than guesswork. Because um, if anybody's like me, you like to know if you're looking for a specific color, if it's even in there. So um, these are all new. These aren't factory rejects. These, uh, these come, I order these directly through Morphe. I'm not a wholesaler. I just buy them at a great price. And then when I get them, I offer them to you guys at a good price. So I'm not a wholesaler. Um, I acquire these just when I can get them on sale. Okay, hold on. It's got a nice closure to it. So here are your colors. Very pretty silver, gray. Uh, you got some brown and taupe. These are really pretty. So this one, they all have names for the colors on the back. They're all named. Okay, so this one is called Smoke and Shadow. If you want this one, I have two of them. You're going to comment the word smoke. Very pretty. Very pretty colors. And I don't know about y'all, but when it comes to like gray and silver, um, I'm really anal about my gray and silver colors. Um, they're not as easy to come by. I will say that. I usually have to look high and low when I start looking for gray and silver. <clears throat> till I have them and then when I have them I have them but um and you do know you should change out your cosmetics from time to time you know you don't want to keep things for 10 years um cosmetics do have an expiration date no, generally speaking I think they have about two to four years so this one says 12 months so I don't know if you guys know this but for good skin health you do have come on come on Focus over here. Focus right here. You see that little pot right there? You see that 12M? That means that these were made to be used for 12 months. And then after that, you probably should change out your makeup because you're constantly, you're constantly going like this on your brush, putting it to your face, acquiring oils, going back into the pot, okay? Going back to your colors. I don't know anybody that uses a brand new brush every time they put to their makeup and then goes to their face. You're going to wipe it again, right? So eventually your pots, the, start, the, the colors will spoil. So it's not good to have makeup for like 10 years, okay? Every couple of years, change out your makeup. Just word of caution for skincare. Um, so this one is smoke and shadow smoke if you want it. I know I'm talking a lot to you guys today, sorry. 
It's good information. A lot of people don't know this stuff. It's not common sense. It's something that you learn. Some people don't know about those expirations. It's on your it's on your creams. It's on it's on everything. People just aren't don't know what it means. Okay. This next one is going to be the word hot H O T. This is hot for hue. So here's your colors. I'm going to show you them in real life. Because you need to see the real color. Look at those are so pretty. Look at those colors. I know a lot of people don't do color, but these are amazing colors. And it is a mirror. It looks frosty because they put a nice cover on that mirror. So there is a mirror in these as well. So a nice mirror. These are great for travel. They're just the right size. You can throw them in your bag. You have a nice mirror to fix your eyebrows and put your makeup on. Nice mirror included. Uh, this one, hot, is the word for this one. And I have two of hot. Okay, let's see. They're very pretty, girl. They're very pretty. Um, I have to go get the children is where I left off. Do you like your high back chair as opposed to the one that only goes up approximately half of your back? I need a new chair. Um, I bought that chair because it was easy to get it quickly. Um, if I could have bought the one that I want, I would have went more for an office chair. Um, honestly, the one that they had at Costco, I would have preferred. Um, but when I went to go get one, they didn't have one in stock and I didn't want to wait weeks to get it. So this one was, I ordered this off Amazon. This is actually a gaming chair. Um, I don't sit back in it enough to enjoy this. Um, I kind of use this. This kind of goes up and down wherever I need it. Um, this chair has a lot of features that I don't use. Um, it can plug into a USB port or a USB charger and plug into the wall or whatever. And it actually has a massage in it. I wish I could use that, but I don't have a cord long enough to make it to the wall and or to the computer. <clears throat> when I get my new room set up, I may have that ability. But for now, I don't get to use it. It also has, um, it reclines. And it also has this, uh, I don't even know how to make it work. I never use it. Um, it also has a footrest. So it just depends on what you want to use it for. Um, this one is more of a, I would have preferred more of an office chair with more comfort. So it feels like I'm sitting down in like a, an office chair. But it does its purpose. I'm on my feet probably more than I'm in that chair. Um, in the mornings, when I sit with you guys in the mornings, that's the most I sit in that chair. Um, normally, I do step on the computer and then I get up. And then I do step on the computer and then I get up. So it, I, I would have probably opted for an office chair versus a gaming chair. Um, this one's super pretty. Look at these colors. If you like your neutrals, this one's called bronze metal. And you can comment bronze if you want this one. Bronze metal. Again, you have your mirror. Um, that is a coating that's over there, a sheeting. You're going to peel it off and expose the mirror. Bronze if you want this one. Um, I wouldn't go halfway up the back, though. I would probably go for a full length but more padding. Because, you know, my body hurts. My body hurts. I know I got lots of fluff, but still. You still need padding. You can have a big old booty and still need a pillow under you. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't lack in that area. so And I still would like to have a nice cushy seat to sit on. Okay, let's see. Um, where are we at? I didn't know that. You didn't know what, girl? About the expiration? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people that break out and have a lot of breakouts, you might want to check your makeup. How long have you had it? How long have you been dipping into it? Um, if you're putting your makeup on and you use your hands, uh, your hands have natural oils and those oils spoil. And so every time you're dipping into your makeup or something, you're getting, you're contaminating it. You know. Uh, yes, I love this brand. I really, I don't like certain things about the brand. 
But I'm like that with anything. I'm like that with Starbucks. Some of the things that certain companies stand for and promote, that's them. Okay. But they do put out great products. So I still am a consumer of certain products. Um, but I will tell you straightforward that I don't stand behind what the company stands for. Okay. Um, that's their sin. That's not my sin. So I do enjoy the products. I have to say, um, this one is called pretty in peach. You can comment peach. If you want this one, very, very summery colors right here. These look really nice on pale skin. They're going to look more, more predominant on a pale skin person, um, on someone with my skin tone. These are going to um, need a little bit more intensity um, because they're going to be very subtle on someone with my skin tone. But with somebody with light skin tone, this is like them wearing some of them other colors because their skin's not going to wash out some of the color. So for me, this would be more on the subtle line. For somebody that has lighter skin, this is going to be more, more vibrant. Okay. Uh, this one, the word peach, if you want this one, then use old powders for crafting. You could if you don't want to toss them out. I don't know what you would use them for, but I'm sure you could. Uh, where did I get it? Where do I get this at? I get this straight from Morphe. Yeah, I get it straight from Morphe. Um, let's see. I think Costco had a nice one yesterday. Yeah, usually... They have some of the most comfortable chairs there. It's just trying to get them when they're in stock. Yeah, because I'm tempted to get me another chair. I told my husband, I said, this chair is killing me. I think I need to get another chair. But I haven't done it because it's money. You know, it's money. Um, and Darcy says, hello, spirit. Uh, Mama Ain says, I knew makeup expires, but I didn't know what the little pot on the container. Yeah, it'll have a number. That's how many months. Mm -hmm. Oh, the chair. Yeah, that on that chair. Yeah, that's I picked that chair. One, it was affordable. I didn't it didn't cost me an arm and a leg to get it Two, it was available. And three, I like the color. <laughs> there you go. I didn't get it for comfort. I got it for what it looked like. Khaki calling. Ooh, comment khaki. This one's very pretty. These are pretty colors. Um, these lean, this one leans more, is it blue or gray? The screen makes it look blue, but this is actually a gray. That is not blue, it's gray. So you got a gray. This one leans towards the eggplant color. This is a nice combination. Great for a smoky eye. Uh, khaki, if you want that one. Um, where did I get the chair? The chair, I believe I got the chair off of Amazon. Oh, I got the chair at Morphe. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello, Jessica. Welcome, welcome, girl. Welcome, welcome. All of these palettes choice is $13. They're all new. They come right where they're made from. They're not coming from anywhere else. And then this one is the Vintage Rose. This one's Vintage Rose, and you can just comment Vintage for this one. These are pretty. These are very, very pretty. I probably have three palettes that have these colors in it. Because <laughs> I have, like, I have a bunch of these palettes. I have the bigger ones. I have a lot of the bigger ones. The ones that aren't here yet, I have a lot of the bigger ones, personally. Um, and so a lot of these colors that you've seen here, they're in a lot of the bigger palettes. Like you'll have a whole range. Um, so these colors, these are probably some of my most used colors in my palettes. But yeah, vintage if you want vintage. And there's no eye makeup today. Most of the time I put my makeup on if I'm going somewhere with my husband or I'm going to church. I always have my eyes done for church. Not like Tammy Baker or nothing, but you know, hey, sometimes sometimes I'll throw them colors out there when I come on here. Today I almost put orange. I almost put orange. And I will tell you, I've not used a primer when I use these eyeshadows, even for those those bright, vibrant colors. 
I just put a light color underneath and then just put it on. And it always shows up. Okay, those are the um, nine. These are called these are called um, pots, right? So I think they're called pots. Um, so this one is going to have nine colors. So this nine is a little tip off of how many colors are included. So these have nine, and this is thirteen dollars for choice. You have the vintage rose. You have the khaki. You have the peach, you have the hot, okay, you have the bronze, and you have the smoke, okay. So again, these are great if you're traveling. These tend to be really great. These are great to try out some colors if you don't or are not familiar with the brand, and um, or you just want to keep it simple. And maybe you just have your regular go-tos and you are very consistent and you like you like your specific colors. All right, so there's those. Um, I do have some brushes. Um, their brushes are not um, five, ten dollars. These brushes are forty dollars for the set. They're forty dollars for the set. I have three that are the pink set. And I will show you how the pink set's going to come. So this is the pink set. This is actually a $98 value. Okay. It's sold for $46. I'm bringing it to you for $40. So you're still going to get a little bit of a price break on those. Um, uh, let's see. I did tell Jessica hello, hello, hello. Everybody says hello. I always have to use a primer. I have hooded eyes. So your primer is... It, your primer is for, so I'm not getting what, what the hooded eye does for the primer. Because usually you'll put the primer so that you get a truer color, right? You have to tell me about that one. You have to tell me. Uh, doing good. Thank you, James. And welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Your eyes, when you do them, are always on fire. Your big brown eye. Oh, thank you. I love my brown eyes as my, what? I love brown eyes as mine are bluish green. My husband's eyes are brown. Oh, you're partial to the brown eyes. And it's funny because everybody who has every color of eyes, there's so many variations of hue and tone and density. Uh, my husband has blue eyes. And I love his eyes. I don't get to see them as often as I would like because he has his glasses on. And his glasses have those uh, the tint changes according to the light. And so um, especially like when we're out and about, I see more glasses than I see eyes. But when he takes his glasses off, I'm like, oh, you need to put your glasses back on. I can see your eyes. And he just smiles because I just think they're the, the most beautiful eyes. But yes, I'm I'm right there with you, girl. I I'm partial to his blue eyes, like you're probably partial to brown eyes. Mm -hmm. But I thank you for your comment. That's awesome. I try, I try, I try with my eyes. I slack in other areas, but I try with my eyes. You're back momentarily. Uh, okay, I use the primer to keep the shadow in place. Otherwise, it will crease back. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to think. Do I have hooded eyes? That's what that is? That skin? <laughs> uh, colored eyes for the longest? Well, I used to wear colored contacts too sometimes though. Uh, when I sold colored contacts, I would wear colored contacts. Um, I have some that they were my favorite. They were like a two-tone eye. Oh my gosh, they were beautiful. Changes your whole look for sure. Okay, so this these are $40 a set. This set right here is um, eight brushes, eight brushes. They're going to come in this beautiful rose gold, rose colored tin. It's not really rose gold. It's actually rose. The screen's making it look rose gold. It's actually a pink color. Yeah, this, the camera's washing it out. So you're going to open this up, and they are all individually wrapped. So it makes a beautiful gift if you don't want it for yourself. 
You're going to get multiple brushes for your eyes and your foundation brush. So you get your foundation, your blush, your um, the one that you can blend um, your highlights and things in. And then you're going to get multiple brushes for your eyes. Okay. So um, it comes like this. I know there's paper sticking out of it now. Um, nice case that you can keep even on your vanity in your bathroom, whatever. You don't have to throw the case away. You can take the stuffing out and it becomes your makeup brush holder. Uh, you can split the can in half and you can have two makeup brush holders. So if you're interested in this, just comment the word. Um, what are we going to comment for this one? Comment the word flash. The word flash. And the handles are all match the case. Again, it's pinker than what you're seeing on camera. It's almost like a metallic pink color. And this flash of rose, I have three of them available. Um, the next one I have, it's also $40. It's a different set, different setup. Um, this one is snaps on the side. This one has your leather feel to it. Um, let me see if I can get this off without tearing the wrapper. Okay, you open this one up, it snaps closed. So this one's gonna snap closed. Let's see if I can get the, um, it is got that leather look to it. It's all stitched, uh, very quality stuff. This one, your uh, brushes are all black, solid black. You're gonna get, on this one, you get 12 brushes. So you get more brushes in this one. You do get your foundation brush. So that's your flat top brush. That's the one that you apply your foundation to. And it allows you to uh, put it on very evenly and blend it nicely onto your skin. You're going to get your blush brush. You have your um, blending brush for your face. Helps you with your contours and such. And then you get all your eye brushes. I only have one of the black. It also is $40. And you can just comment the word black. You can comment the word black. Now, now to get this back on with the wrapper. Good luck, duck. There we go. But this one's a nice, this one's really nice if you travel to keep your brushes so they don't get messed up. Because once you buy nice brushes, you don't want nothing messing them up. And I only have one of those. Okay, let's see where we at. Well, then it was the contacts that had me fooled. Yes, because this is my, these are my big eyes. You want to see my big eyes? <laughs> uh, they're brown. Color changing eyes. Yeah, no, I was wearing the colored contacts. I was trying to sell my product. Mm -hmm. I actually sold a lot of contacts. Um, either one, I only have one of the black and I have three of the pink. They're $40 for the set. My man is running his mouth. <laughs> she just calls it how she sees it, huh? You know what? Mine always wants to talk to me when I'm really trying to pay attention to what someone is selling. And I just look at him like, really? Like, you really picked... You weren't talking to me 10 minutes ago. You didn't have nothing to say to me. And then as soon as I'm, like, really paying attention, here you are, like... like what are you doing? Now I have to ask questions in the chat because I missed it all. Uh, tell him you got him something. No, you don't because it could be a gift. Shh. Shh. You see? Like, boy, hush. I'm trying to hear Rita. Tell him he better get familiar with this face because it might be rolling up on his property. Just kidding. Oh, thank you, Colleen. Me and my husband, we have this running thing about the eyes, right? Because I can make my eyes like big and bulge, right? Like really big and bulge. And his, I tell him he's got little peepers and they're just always like, like this, right? And I'll tell him, show me your big eyes. And he'll go like this. And it's like my eyes like this. Like this is his big eyes. That's as big as they get. They don't open. <laughs> right? Tell, you better get familiar. If not, he'll hear the voice. I'll be like, hey. He'll be like, oh, I know who that is. 
right? Does the same thing. Yeah, always when you're like, like I'm trying to hear what they're saying right now. She's all angry. Mine always shows, mine always chooses when I'm busy doing something to ask me to help him to do something. Yes, girl, right? I told my husband, he called the other day. He goes, he goes, um, I have a package that needs to go out. And I said, oh, yeah? He goes, yeah. So he sends me a picture. And I said, I make him say things. I make him acknowledge things. I make him say things. He goes, um, he goes, are you going to be able to do that? I said, yeah, I will do it. I said, you know why I do it? He goes, why? I said, because you know you got it like that, right? And he goes, he, he changed the subject. He'll talk about it. I said, because you got it like that, right? And he, he won't answer. I say, okay, I'm not going to mail it unless you say, he goes, yeah, I got it like that. You, you need to recognize, right? The only reason I'm doing this is because you got it like that, right? He goes, yeah, I got it like that. I'm making, speaking of your face. Oh, uh oh, my husband saw you this morning on my laptop and told me, say hi to Rita from me. Aw, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, hold on. Is it Mike? I'm really bad with names. Is it Mike? I hope I got that right. Tell him I said hi right back at you. Peepers. But but his are big and brown also. Aw, you got the little peepers too? Aw. Right? Men. Right? Right? My husband says, I have bedroom eyes, whatever that means. <laughs> it means let's go to the bedroom. <laughs> That's what they mean when they tell you that, girl. Uh, my, I got it right. Woo, I got it right. Yay. What a coincidence, she says. <laughs> I guess he's got it, got it like that, huh, Rita? Yeah, he does. If you knew about how we met and you knew the things that went on when we met, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And he knows it. He knows it. Okay. Mascara. Mascara. These are $18. I know that probably seems high for a mascara, but um, when you buy mascara, it's up there. Uh, these are really cool, by the way. Um, I will tell you if you need volume. And you want to uh, not only give volume, but give extra length. And I will tell you, I wear this. Can you see it? I do wear this. Now, I have to spoolie mine out because I don't like it when it's too, like everybody has a look that they like. Some people like it with a lot and um, very like, um, I guess full is the word. Uh, so where you can see, like, I got my mascara on. Me, I like my lashes to look more um, combed through, I guess is the word. So longer, thicker, combed through. I want you to see more individuals, I guess, when I wear mine. Some people like it to be more, um, m many of them together, that kind of look. Um, so depending on what look you're going for. Um, for me, when you apply this brush... Um, you're going to get more of them more together look very uh, full, thick, and it will look make them look longer. Um, I have to take out. So here's an example. I have to separate that a scotch because um, mine, I have a lot of lashes and it wants to pull them together. Um, if you have more uh, sporadic, sparse lashes, you're going to get more of a look like this. Um, so I have to take a spoolie, I apply it, spoolie it out, and then put it on again. That's how I do mine. Um, everybody does their eyes different. So it just depends on what your what look you're going for. These are black. Um, these are not waterproof. Um, again, I bought this for myself, and these are two extras. If they don't sell, it's no big deal. I will use them myself, so it's not like a waste. But I figured I'd bring them. Um, I do get asked quite frequently about mascaras. I do like the um, formula, but the spoolie is not my favorite. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to say that about the spoolie. Spoolie makes a difference. 
Um, I prefer just a regular old spoolie as opposed to the spoolie in here. Now, there are other mascaras, and I like them because of their spoolie, but the mascara burns my eyes. So I've not had any issues with the formula, and that will lean me towards something, and I can just have a spare spoolie. So to me, I don't want my eyes itching. I don't want my eyes burning. And so I do like this. And not to mention, it's a stinking cool. This is like metal. This isn't plastic. This is metal. And so it's a cool stinking container. So it's got like a panther head with red stones in it. It's called Vicious by Nabula. Um, it is a Morphe product. Um, so this one right here is $18, and that's a great deal on this, by the way. I do have two of them. You can comment vicious if you want them. Again, it is not waterproof. I do not buy waterproof mascara, and so there you go. Some people like the waterproof. I do not. Um, okay, where did I leave off on? I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> where's it at? Um, I dated mine. In middle school, we broke up and got back together seven years ago. It's a whole story. Oh, girl, you have to talk later on. Just saying, I'll tell you mine and you can tell me yours. And we won't tell nobody else. I'm just kidding. Uh, Koran says, I sell Mary Kay and our mascaras are 18 plus. Good quality cost more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I will tell you something that's really cool that I learned with Mary Kay, okay? Uh, something that they that they um, kind of brought to light, and it was funny that a lot of um, companies, I don't know if they got a hold of it or it all kind of, the, the knowledge kind of all came out at one time. But Mary Kay, I used to wear a lot of Mary Kay. I have a Mary Kay lady that I would buy from. And so one of the tips they have, and I'm going to pass this on, no matter what brand you use, it works is if you get brown, if you get brown and you put brown on your lashes first and then go back over it with black, you will have a fuller, longer looking lash. It's almost like you're putting primer on. Well, the other brands, the ones that you buy in the store, they ran with, I think, that information. And so they made like a two-ended, some of them have a two-ended or a, a brush inside of a brush or whatever. And, but they're using, instead of brown, they put white. Well, that sucks if you're not very accurate with your mascara, okay? Maybe you have poor eyesight or poor coordination and you don't get all that white covered up. It almost looks like you got junk on your eyes that don't belong there. So uh, Mary Kay was the one that came out with letting people know if you get yourself a brown mascara because they're promoting their mascara. Brown mascara and a black mascara, you prime it with your brown and then you go back over it with your black, you got fullness and length, and you're not gonna have that that uh, noticeable. Just saying. Uh, Mary Kay has wonderful products, by the way. I will say that they do have wonderful products. Um, let's see, Rose says, I have no eyelashes. That's where the snuffleupagus ones come in. Gotcha, girl, you tricking them. You're out there tricking folks. Eyelash Regenerator. I do. I think I can get some. Um, I'll have to check at the supplies that are here because um, I don't have a distributor that I'm in contact with anymore. I left that when I left the shop because um, usually you can get stuff straight through them. But I will check and see what I can get and I'll let you know a price and you can tell me if you're interested in it. If so, I can get you... Um, um, it's like, it's, I think it's called like lash grow or something like that. They could have changed the name by now. I don't know, but you brush it on. There's one that you, uh, put it on like eyeliner and it feeds the lashes from the root, not so much brushing it on the lashes. She says more natural and not like spiders. Yeah. She's all hell romantic. Uh, too bad I can't say the same about baby daddy. We dated back and forth for years. Whole lot of regrets. Red flags everywhere. Oh, my goodness, girl. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the packaging is amazing on them. The, the, the whole, everything about it. And I can tell you, my eyes don't itch. 
uh, and they don't burn. Like a lot of times halfway through the day, my eyes will start burning from the mascara. I don't know why. I don't know what causes it. All right. Let me have a seat for this one because I've been showing you all the stuff, right? That was all the makeup. That's all I'm showing today. Makeup, uh, foot care, hand care, body care. That's what I was showing today. So that is the last. The, the mascara was the last item. Um, so I will combine Monday, today, and tomorrow. Tomorrow's snacks. So if you want to see snacks, there's a lot of new ones in. And those of you that are gluten-free or keto, I have some fabulous stuff coming. Anyways, so there you go with that. Um, so now it's time for the stupid question. <laughs> I'm just teasing. She's all that's dope. Uh, I can make my lashes so long with mascara, it hits my glasses. Yes. I don't do fake. I'm blessed with the lash department. Not so much in all the other areas. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> hey, you got to You got to use your, um, your strengths to overshadow your weaknesses. <laughs> Can you clean the spoolie in the mascara and safely continue to reuse it? Mine gets so gunked up. Okay, so um, it's going to get gunked up if it's got overexposure to air. Air causes your mascara to dry. Do not pump your mascara. Um, you take your mascara wand. It's better to, uh, when you start to open it, uh, you can roll it around in the jug, but don't pump it, okay? Pumping it, you're pumping air into it, and it's going to dry out faster. It's not going to have that nice consistency. There's tip number one. Tip number two, you can get yourself a non-linty um, material, like a paper towel. And the best thing to do for your spoolie, if you're having problems with your spoolie, is... Um, after you've used your spoolie, have a napkin and take and grip your spoolie gently and pull it through the napkin to remove the mascara off of the spoolie. Put the spoolie back into the mascara. That way you're not um, adding in, maybe it's exposed too much to the air. It depends on the brand. Um, they're all formulated different. Some of them are formulated to dry, like dry quickly. And so if you have one that's like that, when you're using it, it's getting air. And so it's going to start drying. And when you put it back in, it now starts to get clumpy because you're introducing thickened from the air back into the original formula. And so then, and if you're pumping it, you're adding more air. She says, story time, Mary Kay lip gloss. I will tell you, and their satin hands is amazing. Uh, there's satin lips and satin hands. That's a really good product, too. Exactly. That's what we were talking about, um, that you need to change your makeup often. You need to change your makeup. Um, you didn't hear that? So this was probably... Um, 2003? 2003 when that information came out. I was a big Mary Kay consumer back then. Mm -hmm. um, a black brown shade. Yeah. I think what it was, was it, I think it was kind of like, it's a good tip, basically coat your lashes twice. Basically, that's what you're doing. Coat your lashes twice. Um, but it was a good marketing tip. And then the other brands ran and just made one side white. Or added fibers into the white. Or added the fibers into the black. And I think it was just a marketing thing that they did. You can get the same effect by coating your lashes twice. Yeah. Twist your wand, not pump it. Exactly. Uh, twist it back when I was in high school. See? Awesome tips. Those are tips that weren't given by a lot of the other brands, so it's really nice. I've been doing it all wrong all these years. Where were you at when I was 15? Hey, I didn't learn it until I was in my 20s, late 20s, early 30s. 
Yeah, you don't know. Well, a lot of us didn't have, um, uh, say, mentoring to put makeup on. You kind of just like you learn from your friends in school. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't know. Wash your face every day. They just never learned certain regimens, you know. Uh, Christy, I know she has been wanting snacks for a long time already. So many resellers recommend you and your snack. Oh, girl, that's that's like what they zoned in on. I was like, guys, I have other merchandise. They're like, no, the snacks. I was like, oh, my gosh. But I am the only one that has snacks. So, yes. Uh, Nana, Nana J, hey, welcome. I have not seen you forever. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, Nana J. May I interrupt with an urgent prayer request? Yes, girl. Let me get my book out. Let me get my book out. Because don't just want to say it here. Want to do it. Oh, I have a couple grab bags. So you guys might want these. I forgot about those. I pulled them off. Like squirrel. There she goes with her squirrels. Huh. Okay, hold on. Shifting stuff. I gotta shift this to get to this. Shift this to get to this. All right. So I got my book. Uh, I do not use mascara often, so buy the good stuff. Yeah, same here. I buy the good stuff. Nice. Yeah, the lady that I know, she's gotten cars. She's gotten cars in our little old town of Barstow. Imagine that. Best tip for me, I'm self-taught. We didn't have internet. That too, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Um, did you have a lot of Funkos left over? I'm just asking for a friend. I have, yeah, I do have a good chunk of Funkos left over. They're going to get packed. So if you're wanting a Funko, you might want to tell me uh, before this weekend because them are going to get packed and put on the shelf for now. They won't get brought back out probably till Christmas time. Uh, my friend's daughter was harmed at school today. She's an, oh my gosh, Nana J. Oh my gosh. It was your friend's daughter. All right. Um, her name is Zoe. Or Zoe. Zoe or Zoe. Okay. Don't hate. I always watch my mama pump the mask. <laughs> right? Um, let's let's pray for um Zoe. Let's pray for her right now. I mean, she's there at the hospital, so just pray for her. Uh Lord, I just want to lift up Zoe to you and Lord um Nana Jay's request. Lord, we want to stand with her that uh, Zoe would uh, recover from any injuries that she has received and Lord, that she wouldn't have any uh, residual fear or um, trauma related to this, Lord, that she would be able to uh, first and foremost, that she would know you, Lord. I don't know if she knows you, but Lord, if she doesn't, that you would draw her to you, that she would know that she can uh, rest in you and that you can protect her and keep her safe. And, Lord, that that is your goal is to do those things for her. So, Lord, I do want to pray for her and her family that they wouldn't seek vengeance, that, Lord, that they would allow you to work through the situation to accomplish uh, what it is that you need to accomplish. If it's salvation first, Lord, we're praying for that first for the whole family, um, for mom and dad, especially for dad, um, that he would have a calm spirit, that he would allow you to um, take care of the situation, Lord, that they wouldn't try to do things on their own. Uh, sometimes our first reaction is to jump forward and do these things, and they end up causing more trouble. So, Lord, I do pray that um, you would keep that upon them. Um, and also, Lord, that you would work out in the life of the offender, Lord, that you would um, 
you would exact what's needed from that person, Lord, that you would um, that you would take care of all of the details when it comes to that person. If it's calling for them to go to jail, Lord, that they would go to jail, um, Lord, and that they would find you there and that they would get forgiveness for the things that they do. Um, does it mean that their consequences are washed away here in this uh, world that we live in, Lord, there's consequences and Lord, some of them are long lasting. So Lord, I do want to pray that they would come to a place of repentance, that they would understand that what they did was wrong, that they would even have that place where they would express that uh, regret and remorse and ask for forgiveness uh, to Zoe as well. So Lord, we are praying for that. We're praying that you will use this situation uh, for the benefit of salvation and forgiveness. And Lord, that um, you would bring Zoe through this without any lasting um, trauma or complications, that she would grow up um, to know who you are and that she would grow through this and not um, be hindered from it. So Lord, I do want to pray it also would be, be a change for the schools as well whatever may be lacking there, that it would be improved. So we do want to pray for that too. So thank you for Nana J. Thank you for bringing her. Thank you for allowing us to stand with her in prayer for Zoe. We ask that you would just uh, do your work there. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh my gosh. It's crazy world. Crazy world. Um, yes, healing. Definitely. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I always taught the kids, you don't put your hands on the other person, even their brothers and sisters. You don't put your hands on them. If they do something you don't like, you go and you tell on them or whatever, but or you walk away. You don't put hands on nobody. You don't have that right. And I think that's not being taught to children now. They're being told to uh, they can have their way no matter what. And sometimes it's not that they come from uh, a bad situation. It's just they're not being taught the correct way as well. Yeah. Lift up Zoe in prayer. Restore her to perfect overall health. Yes. Yes. Yep. That she wouldn't have um, um, fear. Because a lot of the kids, when they go through stuff, now they're afraid of everything. We don't want that. We don't want that. She knows the Lord. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, I do have two bags real quick because I didn't show these. And I didn't show polish. Do you guys want nail polish? Um, their name brand nail polishes are all $6 a piece. So this is a grab bag. This is just a little grab bag. Um, it, there is one eyeliner in there. There is um, four pairs of toe separators in this one. There is one pair of pedicure slippers. Um, there is one pair of earrings, and I will tell you, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, these are uh, earrings that were made by Irene. I had bought these right before Christmas time, and I was going to give them to my mother-in-law, and then I didn't. But I will tell you that these are little glass balls. Let's see if the light, I can't get the light right. These are little glass balls, gold tone, new, handmade. And I believe that they were handmade by Irene. If you guys know Irene, um, you're going to get those. And then um, there is a vanilla body spray. Okay. All new. None of this is used stuff. All of this is new. These were made and bought from Irene. And then you have the spray. You have four pairs of toe separators, an eyeliner. I know it's random. And a pair of uh, pedicure slippers. $3 if you want it. It's just a grab bag. Um, you can comment the word slipper for this one. Um, it's just kind of all in this bag. It's just a random mix, guys. Random mix. There were just things that were in the bottom of the basket. Slipper, if you want it, you agree. Amen. Right? Um, and then this one has choice number two. This one has a uh, body spray. This one's an aerosol body spray. You're going to get two toe separators. You're going to get a uh, cover girl. The box is smashed, but the item is new. Um, this one is called Trenic Queenship, and it is a cream eyeshadow. It's um, like a neutral. 
Okay. You're going to get this. Uh, this is just off of the tag. It's not hair. It's like sticky from the tag. Um, this is a back scratcher. It's just like a massager. It telescopes. And then you're going to get a piece of paparazzi. Uh, new in package. And it has pink stones. So you're going to get a piece of paparazzi jewelry. It does have the... Uh, the uh, earrings up here that have little little dingles on them. They're not stones. They're just little dingles that match the dingles that are running through there. I call them dingles. You can giggle and laugh whatever you want. Um, if you want this one, comment the word back. The first one was the word slipper. This is the word back. $3 if you want it. It's just a random bag of doodads. That's what I'm going to call it. Pretty from head to toe grab bag. <laughs> Okay, um, did you want it or are you just making a comment? I think you're just making a comment. Uh, Rose, you want the back one? You got it. Okay, so only slipper is left if you want the slipper one. Okay, okay, time. Did you guys want polish? Did you guys say yes or no on the polish? Um, I got all new polishes in. Come on, body. Ooh, that was a killer. Um, I got all new polishes in. I have most of them are Morgan Taylor. Um, they're $6 a piece. I have two of each color. There's a few that I don't have two of because they only sent me one. Um, but uh, they all range in different colors. There's ones that are glittery. There's ones that are uh, matte looking colors. Uh, there's some more darker colors. There's some purples. Uh, you just have to let me know if you guys want uh, to go through the polishes. Um, cool Ranch Use. Yes. Okay. I shall make the creatures rub my back and they can stretch it out and do it from far away. <laughs> I have to get the other kid even though I want to leave him at school. Oh goodness. No you don't. Uh, Christy, you want the other bag? You got it. You got it. Christy, you got it, girl. Okay, here we go. On the polish. On the polish. I probably should stand up, but I don't feel like it. Okay, here we go. Um, you said anything that's matte. Some of these are matte. So, and again, it depends on your top coat, because if you put a matte color and you put a shiny top coat, you're going to change that look. But um, I do know that they make matte top coats now. So this one is your, um, this one is called um, Uncharted Territory. You can comment the word uncharted. It is a pretty um, kind of, um, the camera look makes it look very wine-ish. But I will tell you, it's a little lighter than what the camera is making it. Probably this is more true color down here. Okay. And if you shake it, of course, it's going to have a more true color. These haven't been shaken for a minute. So let's see. Where's my, where's the good spot for color? Is that a good spot for color? Probably about right there. Um, uncharted if you like that. Anything not matte. Ooh, my bad. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's Uncharted. Uh, this one right here is going to be one of your matte type colors. This one is a more of a raisiny wine. This one's called The Camera Loves Me. You can call this one Camera. Very pretty. The Camera Loves Me. You can comment the word Camera for that one. Um, here's one. I think I only have one of these. There's only one. This one is uh, pink, bling, and be merry. Comment the word merry, like Christmas, Merry Christmas. Uh, but this one is pink, and it's got the shimmer in it. So merry, like Merry Christmas, if you want that one. There's only one. Okay, let's see. Is there two of this? No, these are the ones they only sent me one of. Okay, this one, there's only one. This is a different type of color. Chillin' with Jack. This one's called Chillin' with Jack. This one's going to be more of like your taupe color. Uh, this one looks really pretty. 
when you um, you decorate it. Um, this one is a really nice base if you're going to do nail art on top of it because it's going to make all of your colors pop. going to give you that nice neutral base. Uh, Jack, if you want this one, I only have one. Okay, I didn't name these, but now you know why when I call things weird names, it's because I dealt a lot with polish and they always had weird names. Okay, uh, Cool Ranch, you want Mary? You got it. You got it. I'm not getting up. I'm tagging these right here where I'm at. All right, this one. I only have one, right? Yes. So I only have one of this. It's got blue and silver glitter. It's called uh, OPI I'm a Gem. OPI, which is the brand. So this is an OPI brand. So I don't know if you can see the colors. This OPI right here. Why does my camera not want to focus? Hold on, guys. That should be better. So it's got blue and silver. It's kind of like a steely blue and a silvery blue in there with silver. I only have one. And you can call this one gem. G-E-M gem. And this one is an OPI. There's the OPI right there. Okay. Gem, if you want that one. Okay. Um, this one, I only have one of. This one, I only have one. Some of these, they only send me one because that's all they had in the colors when I picked them. Uh, this one is Just Me and My Piano. This is a really pretty color. It needs to be shaken, just so you know. I could sit here and shake every single one. There you go. Uh, piano, if you want this one, I only have one of piano. Okay, that glittery one would look gorgeous inside an oyster shell decoupage. Oh, look at her with her decoupage. <laughs> this one right here is tell her she's stellar. Tell her she's stellar. This one is your uh, very light color, super pretty, and there is shimmer in this one. I don't know if you can see the pearl shimmer, but there's pearl shimmer in this one. Okay, so stellar, if you want this one, this is really pretty. This would make a nice um, background if you do nail art as well. I like this one. Very pretty. If you're going to decorate it, very pretty. You can't see too much of the shimmer on the screen, but it has some pearl to it. Stellar if you want that one. Okay, here's one of your fallish kind of orange colors. This one right here, I do have two of this one. Um, this one is called Afternoon Escape. Comment Escape if you want this one. I don't know what you why you would call an orange one that but whatever this one is your holographic silver glitter this one right here is called sprinkle of twinkle and you can comment the word twinkle if you want this one and i don't know about anybody else but glitter covers a multitude of flaws or if you're waiting for a fill you can slap some glitter on and it'll get you through till the next appointment uh, this one right here has your, let's see if I get to focus. This one right here is called Studs and Stilettos. And this one's more of like your um, gunmetal and your black and your silver. Super pretty. You can call this one Studs. Okay. This one right here is called It's Your Mauve. It's your mauve. And to me, this is a very light colored mauve. This isn't like your deeper color. So mauve, if you want this one, to me, this is more of like a, a skin color, like a nudish color. Mauve. Uh, that, okay, I read that one. What's this one say? P 
people who can do nail art are so talented, right? Uh, you really got stretched when uh, the gel polishes came out. When the gel polish came out, uh, you were really challenged to be uh, artsy because gel polish wants to um, level out. It doesn't stay where you put it. So you had to learn to do a couple lines and phrase it and then continue on with it. So I had one customer. Uh, you guys see her in the chat sometimes. She'll shop Sarita. That girl, she would challenge me with nail art all the time. Okay, this one is a really pretty... Um, it's kind of got a little bit of green in it, but not a lot. Just a tiny little bit. Reminds me of flies. Their eyes. Are you lying to me like a lion roars? Are you lying to me? Comment the word lion. Comment the word lion. And this one's got like your eggplantish color. Kind of like an eggplant. This one's called Be My Sugar Plum. Aww. You can comment sugar plum if you like this one. This one's a pretty color. Um, this one is, um, this one's really pretty. Look at that one. That one's got a lot of shimmer in it. Um, this one is called Disco Days. And you can comment the word disco. Really pretty. The camera not showing how pretty that is, but it's really pretty. It's got a holographic frost in it. Disco, if you want that one. This one needs to be shaken. This one is called... Ew. Caviar on ice. Yeah, that's kind of caviar looking. Caviar on ice. Okay. Caviar, if you want that one. let's see this one is big bang red Ooh, nice that's a beautiful red big bang red just comment the word bang bang All right. this one right here is called this one's called baby doo-doo I'm just kidding it's not uh, this one is called uh, shake it till you make it and you can comment the word shake. This one is from the collection, the Sing To collection. Shake it till you make it. Okay. Uh, comment the word shake. Shake, shake, shake. And you are talented. Eh, I wouldn't say that. I, I do doodle art. I'm more of a doodler. I'm not really artsy. Um, that's why I like crafts. Because uh, crafts, you don't have to be, like, artsy talented. you just putting stuff together. Is my camera moving? It looks like it's shaking from side to side, does it not? It did that yesterday. I need to check my Wi-Fi. Something's up with that modem. Um, this one is a really pretty pink. In fact, yeah, this one's a really pretty pink. Really pretty pink. This one is called Let's Go to the Hop. Let's Go to the Hop. Let's Go to the Hop. That's a song. Comment the word hop if you want that one. Um, this one is called, yeah, this one is called um, Latte, please. So this is your latte. Uh, you see this color down here? It's because it needs to be shaken. Um, you have to remember it's cold outside. These things are traveling. I get these all the way from Florida. Um, so, you know, they have to travel. They, they uh, settle in shipment. Okay, that's better. I don't know why, but this color looks like dookie. This will mix in. You just have to keep shaking it and it's going to be the color of latte this color down here like a coffee latte uh, you can comment latte if you want that one beautiful pink right okay let's see these three look like they're the same are they 
Did they give me three of the same? Nope. I got a lot of I got a lot of neutral colors, a lot of matte colors. This one right here is called uh, Bear and Toasty. Bear and Toasty. You can comment the word Toasty if you want this one. Toasty if you want this one. Oh. Toasty. This reminds me of the color of um, work pants. That really tan color work pants. All right, this one right here is a really frosty, holographic frosty color. It's purple. It's a bluish purple. Indigo, isn't that what you would call that? Uh, frolic in fairy dust. You can comment the word fairy. Frolic in fairy dust. Comment the word fairy. Uh, let's see. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, Mama Ain says, I was getting ready to say that you're a really good salesperson. Then you said, this one looks like Dookie. <laughs> hey, I'm truthful. That uh, I told a lady, she goes, oh, you should sell cars. I said, nah, I wouldn't be good at selling cars. She's like, yeah, you would. You're good at describing them or telling things. I said, nah, because if I think the car sucks, I'll tell them the car sucks. She, Her eyes got all big. I said, like, this car right here, I would never tell anybody to buy this car. This car sucks. And she just, like, looked at me. Like, oh, shoot. Yep, I'm only going to buy it if I like it. Don't be trying to show me stuff that sucks. Just because it's been sitting there a while and you want to sell it. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm going to need you to read a message from me as I need you to send out my Funko Pops and one makeup melt to my daughter. Just put Okay, you got it. You got it. Um, and Brenda, Brenda G, Brenda G, um, I got your message and I have five on reserve for you. I got your message, girl. I forgot to tell you that earlier. If you're still here listening, yeah, this one, these need to mix. So these need to mix. Some of the pigments not mixed in here. Okay, this one right here is, you're going to see some variation of pigment, but that's okay. It's called Funny Business. And maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe that's why it's named that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is a purple. And it's got, you see the blue streaking in it. Um, I believe that that's pigment that needs to be mixed in. But I could be wrong. It could be part of the formulation. Um, they're always coming up with new stuff. Who knows? This one is called Funny Business. You can comment the word funny for this color. It's a really pretty purple. It leans more lavender. The camera's showing you kind of blue. It's actually more lavender. I hate the, the camera for uh, polish colors. I hate the camera for polish colors. I didn't know I was going to have to sit here and shake all these either. Um, going Vogue. This one is Going Vogue. Really, really pretty pale pink. Going Vogue. Vogue, if you want that one. Um, this one's more of a mauve. This one's a mauve color. This one's from Dusk Till Dawn. And that's a really pretty mauve color. Again, it needs to shake. I used to have a polish shaker, and I sold it to my nail lady. And I wish I would have kept the stupid thing now. Uh, this one's a mauve color. Dusk, if you want this one. See, to me, this is mauve. That other color that popped up here, that was not mauve. That was not mauve. But again, I didn't name them. You know me, I come up with weird names. If you ever watch me sell my stones that I have on hand, I don't buy stones and sell them. They're just ones that I have. Um, I come up with some weird names for them. Uh, it's because I dealt with polish. This is a dancing and romancing. So how does that remind you of dancing and romancing? I don't know, but that's the color. If you want it, comment dancing. All right, here's another purplish blue. So the last one I showed you was more lavender. This one's more on the violet side. This one's more on the violet side. 
And this one's called Catch My Drift. This more violet color. Catch My Drift, and you can comment the word drift. You need a vortex mixer. <laughs> well, I used to have this uh, shaker. And so what you would do is you put the polish in and you put the polish in upside down. And then you turn it on and it would shake the polish for you for like 60 seconds. It would shake the polish for you. And the movement of it was perfect for polish. And I bought it because these are easier to shake than your gel polish. Your gel polish, it needs to really mix because everything settles in the bottom of those. Um, so if you had glitter, your glitter was heavier than the gel and it would sink. Uh, this one's real pretty. This one's super pretty. It's a very, very pretty teal color. Um, the camera's not showing you that real pretty teal either. Wrapped in Riches. Ooh, that's a good name for this one. Wrapped in Riches. You can comment Riches for this one. It's a really pretty, it's got greens and holographic glitter. Riches if you like that one. And here's a really rich one. This one's going to have different uh, sizes of chunk glitter in it. This one is called Good Luck Charm. Oh, that's a good name for this one. So that's a good name for this one. You see the different sizes of gold glitter? Some are very fine. Some are a little more chunky. This one's called Good Luck Charm, and you can put the word charm. That's a really pretty one. Uh, she says, yeah, no. <laughs> Dinner's done. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope everyone has a fantastic evening. You too, Christy. Thank you for being here, girl. Right? She says, that's what I'm talking about. Have a good night, Christy. Have a good night. All right. This one is called um, Warm Up the Carnation. Oh, that's a good name for this one. Warm Up the Carnation. So really pretty pink, and it's got frost in it. So I don't know if you guys know the difference in, so you can see, you know, like an AB stone gives off that rainbowy kind of color. That's what a frost will do in, uh, in a polish. You get that frosty color and then you have a uh, glitter and that gives you the more definite pieces of glitter. And then you also have your um, matte colors and then you have your, um, there's one more. So you have your frost, you have your glitter. Um, this one is more like your hologram. So this was one I showed you earlier. This one has more of a hologram, not a frost. So there's, there's different kinds of colors when it comes to those shimmery colors. Yep, shimmer is a good word. Some are more shimmery than others. Um, this is a really pretty purple. This is really pretty purple. This look good on toes. Royal treatment. You can call that one royal. That one's a really pretty color for toes. Especially on light colored skin, this color looks amazing. Just saying. All right, what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, here is a, I just threw it. This one is a very fine color. This one is kind of like your champagne silver. Very pretty, frosty, glittery, kind of combination of both. Ice or no dice? You can comment ice for this one. Ice or no dice? You can comment ice for that one. I throw the lucky charm on the floor. I need to take these to my new nail girl. She needs colors. i be like, here, put this on my toes. <laughs> put this on my toes. Okay, let's see. Sorry, sound went out. I want that pinky rose colored one. Okay, hold on. The pinky rose colored one. This one? Did it have shimmer in it? This one? This one, I'm trying to think which was the ones that I just showed. This one, 
one, two, or three. Oh, dang it. That was, a, that was a doozer. The darker one is number one, the middle one is number two, and the brighter pinkish one is number three. Was it one of those? Shimmer more burgundy. Let's see, where did I place things? I was going this direction. This one. Oh, shoot. I put them back down, girl. This was number one. This one. Yes, yes, not the other one. Um, okay, what did I miss? I missed something way up here. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I'm not even on the camera. You like that? Hey, which one do you want? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Hey, Deb. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> They're $6, girl. They're $6. They're all um, either uh, Morgan Taylor and I have a few OPI. Most of these are Morgan Taylor. Okay, let me see which one you're wanting because I'm all messed up now. And Rosé is back. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Darcy. Yes, they are $6 a piece. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes to this one, right? This one? Not this one. Just making sure. I think it's this is the one that you want. Girl, I don't know where your right is. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ranch. I got you. I see your color. You like colors that almost look like rubies. I got you, girl. You, you like the colors that look a lot like rubies. I call that like a ruby color. They look like little rubies on your toes. Just saying. That's a beautiful color for your toes. No lie. It looks good on the hands too, but there's something about those colors right there. They look awesome. And corals. Uh, they look awesome on toes. Just saying. That color is awesome for toes. This one's super pretty. This one is super, I know the camera is making it look gold, but there is a rose tint to this one. There is a rose tint to this one. You're not seeing it on camera, but there is a rose tint to this. It's not just straight gold. Um, this one is called Just Naughty Enough. Just Naughty Enough. And you can comment the word enough. Enough. This one's really pretty. Yeah, there's a little bit of a rose tint to that. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, this one is a, I call this one like a, this one reminds me of Barbie. I don't know why. Uh, contour the streets. Contour the streets. Uh, put the word streets for this one. Streets for this one. I can't wear this color. I feel like I have look like I have dirty. I'm dirty when I wear that color. You're like, ooh, Rita, you're dirty. I feel dirty when I wear that color. All right, this one reminds me again of fly eyes. Really pretty. You're going to see copper. You're going to see green. Uh, you may even see hints of blue and even purple in the sun. Um, but what you're seeing on camera is that really pretty greenish gold color. This one's called Morph with Me, like morph, like change. Uh, comment the word morph if you want it. Yes, Rosé, tomorrow is the snack sale. 
Tomorrow is a snack sale. Now, this is one of the ones that was from the Marilyn Monroe collection. This one is Girl and Her Curls. And this one's a really pretty purple color. And it's got um, very light, light, shimmery, shimmery. Um, can you see it? The silvery. Can you see the silver flashing right there? So this one's really pretty. Um, there's a good glance at it right there. A girl and her curls. Comment curls if you want this one. You see that shimmer right there? It's running through the polish. Okay. Let's see. Um, here's one. It's very, very pale. Very pale. You just want a hint of like peachy pink. It's like a peachy pink color. This one right here is called On Cloud Nine. On Cloud Mine. You can comment the word cloud. It's a very pale pinky peach color. That one's going to be the word cloud. Okay. Um, this one is, you see how it's clear at the top and the glitter's at the bottom? This is going to be a very light uh, glitter top coat. And this is what it looks like when you shake it up. So this is how it looks unshaken. This is how it looks shaken up. See, so shake me. You have to shake it every time you use it. Okay. So this works good as a top coat. Um, if you're just adding glitter to the top of whatever you're doing. Um, what did I tell you to call that one? Shake. Just call that one shake. And then here's another purple. I ended up picking a lot of purples this time, didn't I? This one's a deep purple. And this one's got shimmer running through it. This one has shimmer running through it. Um, it's a little bluer on camera. It's actually more purple. It is more purple. I hate that you can't see the true color. I really do. Yeah, you're seeing more blue. It's more purple. It's actually purple purple. If purple is your jam, you might like that one. And you could call that one uh, Starry Sight. Starry Sight. Um, it would look good with a French manicure, Cool Ranch. That, that really light one, this one, yes. You could use that for French. It's a little bit going to have a little more pink than you might like it to have. But it just depends on... Um, Yeah, you could get away with using that one. You could get away with using that one. Um, this one right here, really pretty. Um, it does have a little, a little bit of red tint to it. Rosy, rosy Rosita. Yeah, the camera's making it a little bit more orange. It actually has a little bit more red to it. Kind of like a brick. Like the color of a brick. Add that color of red to this color, and that's what color it truly is. Okay, let's see. Stephanie says, I'm trying to hang out for the live, but I'm going to have to clean kitchen soon. Okay, girl, this is the last of everything. You do want the Rosie Rosita? You got it. Yeah, you'll like that one. You'll like that one. It's going to be kind of in the family of what you would like there, girl. You'll like that one. Okay, that's it on polish. Don't leave yet, Stephanie. You gotta do the giveaway. You gotta be here for the giveaway because you have to enter it. Right? Okay, you're not here. You can't enter. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna do uh, three customer appreciation draws. You can only win once. Um, if your name gets called twice, I will draw again. Uh, you can't win until the end of live, which is the last one, and then it's open back up to everybody, even if you've already won. Okay. Um, she's going to have some beautiful nails. Beautiful nails. Let me get these off of my workspace. I'm liking this color right here. Hmm. Let's see. We shall see. We shall see. 
Okay, those are done. Here we go. Let me get the uh, giveaway tool pulled up. Let me get this pulled up. I'm hungry, guys. I got chicken with green chili cooking. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I'm going to eat it. Maybe I'll have uh, what I shouldn't have. Some chips with cheese and green chili chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, kind of like a crispy enchilada. Hmm. Okay, here we go. And we're going to put... Oh, I can't get to my Now I'm going to drop in the jar. I got the jar ready right here. Get the jar ready right here. Uh, don't forget to keep Zoe in your prayers, guys. Make sure you keep her in your prayers, okay? Um, we're going to do hashtag. Hashtag. And, and let's see. There we go. We're going to do that. Wait till you see the hashtag, guys. Okay, here we go. Share a screen. We're going to share a window. We want this window right here, and we're going to share. Here you go. There's your hashtag. Make a face. Make sure that your M and your second A is capitalized. Oh, see, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Okay, that would be good for a, over a Frenchman. Okay, so I saw that one. Rosie Rosita got that claim. Darcy says, yum. You can come over, girl. I'm home alone. You can come over and have some food if you want. Uh, Drea, perfect, girl. First one in. Get your hashtag in, guys. Get it in there. Clarence says, I won the City of Brighton's Green Chili Contest with my white bean chicken green chili four years, four years in a row. You need to freeze some and send it my direction. <laughs> uh, we had that kind of, uh, it didn't have green chili in it. It was white bean chicken chili, white bean chicken chili with Ortegas, I think, in it or something like that uh, in Pasadena. And apparently they have one down there for their green, white bean, green chicken chili. I think that's how they named it. Um, so yes, I'm sure yours is wonderful because it sounds very similar to that. Very, very similar. Okay, guys, get your hashtag in. Uh, 21 viewers, I see 15 entries. Please make sure that you put it just like you see it right here. Uh, capital M, no spaces, make A, capital A, face. Face is not capitalized, just make an A. Okay? She says, wowzers, right? She needs to send it our direction. I love food. I'll be right there. You got about 30 minutes. <laughs> if that. I already have the cheese shredded. Check it out. I'm going to take... Corn tortilla chips, which is, I shouldn't be eating them, but I still eat the corn tortillas. I haven't fully uh, cut every single thing out that I should. Corn tortillas is a hard one for me. Um, you know, it's it's my beaner roots. They kick in and I crave them. So anyhow, uh, every all the other sugars out, but just that one thing, I struggle with that one thing and it's corn tortillas. So anyhow, um, and it's not that it's detrimental. It's just, I would like to clean that part up too. So anyhow, I'm going to take some corn tortilla chips. I'm going to put some shredded cheddar cheese on there. I'm going to uh, shred up that chicken with the green chili, put that on there, squirt some sour cream on there, and I am good to go. Girl, that's what I'm eating. That's what I'm eating. Just saying. I cut the beans out. I don't do rice, you know, all these other things. But it, when it comes to the stupid corn, <sighs> The corn tortillas is, that's like, I'm like, you're cutting all my beaner stuff away. Can't have beans, can't have rice. I limit myself on potatoes very seldom. Once in a while, I'll eat some potatoes. But I just still need that 
that vehicle, that corn tortilla. She says, hashtag feed me. I told you 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes and then it's on. <laughs> right? Okay, so let me see. Did I miss anything? She said, I'll be right there. I won three, what? I won three flat screen TVs and then begged the organizers to change their prizes. <laughs> so the fourth year was a gift card for 200 bucks. The flat screens were worth more than that, weren't they? Well, maybe not. Nowadays, I guess. Nowadays, I guess you can get them for a few hundred bucks. But a gift card for 200 bucks means you get to get whatever you want, which really would have more value. But congratulations. I can't live without my beans. <laughs> well, see, for me, beans wreak havoc because beans have a lot of lectins in them. Even if you cook them for a long time, you do all these processes. Um, if you already have issues in your gut and you have like the autoimmune things going on, um, the lectins in there just wreak havoc. So, you know, I try to, I love beans, but I don't eat them very often. I as a Mexican. Me too, girl. High five. Uh, I want to be good with corn, but I'm not cutting my Cool Ranch Doritos, right? I hear you. I love just regular nacho Doritos. That's what got me into trouble when I couldn't taste anything because I could taste those. And so I just I just wanted to just keep giving me Doritos because I can taste them. Um, but yeah. Mama Ames says corn and black beans are zero points on Weight Watchers. And I don't understand that because corn is a high sugar item. I don't get their ratings. I don't. I don't understand them at all. But hey, cool. If you can have corn, that's awesome. My favorite meal is beans, cornbread, and fried taters. Right. That's a good meal. I would eat that. I would eat that. Mm -hmm. Have you tried to soak them all night or overnight before cooking them? Yes, it, yes, but there still is the lectin in there. There's still some lectins. So lectins work like little needles. So when you eat the beans and you break them down, they go through your intestines. Lectins work like little needles that, that perforate. And that's what lectins actually do in the system as you're eating them. And so if you have issues um, in your gut, these are worse for you to eat. So just saying, I'm not telling you guys what to eat. Shall I say fresh or frozen corn without butter? No without butter. No without butter. Have you ever had fried corn? Mm, fry that corn. It's so good. Potatoes are not zero points though. See, that does not make a lick of sense. I know they're a high starch, but um, they're better for you than the corn, which I don't understand, but I don't like Cool Ranch Doritos, if I'm telling you the truth. My husband does, but I don't like the flavor. Sorry, girl. I love you, but I don't like your chip. <laughs> I'm just saying. They bloat you. That's why. It's because they're causing inflammation in the intestine. I can't any green vegetables. I've heard people have reactions to vegetables. I've heard that too. I'm officially down 4.4 pounds in my first week of Weight Watchers. That's awesome. Congratulations, girl. Stick with it. Stick with it. She says, I love, Joyce says, I love Cool Ranch Doritos. They're so good. See, my husband loves them. I can't do the taste of them. I don't know why. All right, we have 18 entries. I'm drawing, guys. I chit-chatted enough. Everybody had plenty of time. The screen is up there. You can see what's going on. So good luck. Good luck. Rosie, oh, goodness, two days in a row. A winner, two days in a row. I'm drawing from the, from the jug. Here we go. I'm not looking. I'm not cheating. I'm not trying to draw you a one. You got two dollars. Congratulations, Rosé. You got two dollars. And I'm applying this, right? I'm applying to Rosé. 
Congratulations, congratulations. I'm going to draw again. Remember, you can't win uh, two times or three times in a row. It has to be somebody new. You can't have that prize. Get on, get, you got your prize. <laughs> that happened last night too. The picker likes you. Anna, congratulations, girl. She needs some shopping cash, right? Let's see what Anna's going to get. And just so you know, Anna has been a faithful watcher since I started on YouTube. And Anna, you got $5. And I want to say thank you, Anna, for always being a viewer, girl. Thank you, thank you. $5, Anna. You decide when you want to spend it, or for now, I will save it. If you decide you want to claim snacks tomorrow, you get to apply it towards your purchase. Anna, I'm crazy. Or you can just continue to save it. Congratulations. She says, save it. You got it. You need to go buy that lotto ticket. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm drawing again. Good luck, good luck. Rosé and Anna cannot win right now. They cannot win right now. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Deb's wood burning. Congrat that was a long squeaker, wasn't it? Congratulations. We're going to draw. I'm not looking. We don't cheat here. We don't cheat. Let's see what we get here. I just want one. You got one dollar, girl. That means I draw again. One dollar always gets another draw. And we add to it. The least you'll get is two ones. But you won't just get one. How's that? The least you'll get is two ones. That's the least you can ever get pulled. You got five. So you got a total of six, Deb. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, you don't have claims either, so I will save it for you. When you decide to claim something, you will get to use it. Debs Wood. Congratulations, girl. i got to hook that together with a paper clip. Congratulations. Okay, this fourth one, it's back up for grabs, so it doesn't matter if you've won. You can win again on the last one. This is the last one. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. You're very welcome. She says, I'm going to buy me some popcorn. <laughs> uh, a second time at the end. <laughs> the picker's being very, very um, repeating. It's very repeating in its draws. All right, here we go. You can win this one because it's the end of the live. OMG. She got a $10. She got a whopping 10 so you got $16, Deb. She's like, I'm definitely going to get me some popcorn now. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I so appreciate you all. You guys are fabulous. I hope you love your goodies when you get them. If you're able to pop in tomorrow, you can pick snacks. Um, uh, there's new things in. There's some of your favorites are in. So the gummies are in. The um, pork rinds are in. The There's new gluten-free cookies up there. Some of you have had them before. They were the WOW brand. They literally will make you say, wow, no joking. They're, they're wonderful. Um, I also have keto cookies in. Those are not called WOW, but you will say WOW on those too. If you're keto, um, I've had keto cookies before, and they weren't, they weren't good. They weren't great. These are fabulous. Just saying. They're fabulous. Um, I'll even eat one on screen. <laughs> anyway, uh, pork rinds. We still have teas. Um, I have new meat sticks in and jerky. That stuff is stinking amazing. Um, I do have the swaffles, both gluten-free ones, and your straffle, which is your regular. I have some yes bars in. Um, what else? What else? There was something else. I still have some sweet popcorn on hand. I only have a few of the cheese corn. Remember, I don't have that anymore. Um, what else? And, and then uh, the clouds are supposed to be here. So we'll see if those show up. Those are one of the ones Ella's been waiting for. So anyhow, enjoy your popcorn, Deb. <laughs> right? Awesome. Have a night. Good night, girls. 
don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Well, that don't leave a whole lot left over. Sheesh. Why are you trying to tell people to do things that might not be right? I'm just teasing. I'm teasing, Rochelle. You know I have. We need a new picker. <laughs> hey, you let them know. You let StreamYard know. There's something wrong with your picker. Right? That picker's lazy. It's lazy to go through all the names. It keeps picking the same people. Hey, it's their turn to win. That's just the way that I look at it. Okay, I keep blowing bubbles today. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. Anyhow, you guys have a fabulous night. Thank you for hanging out with me. Go enjoy your dinner, your family. Um, enjoy your couch if it's time to relax. And if not, chop, chop, get to it if it's time to work. So you guys have a good evening. I will see you all uh, tomorrow if you're able. Tomorrow morning if you want to hang out in the morning for devotions and coffee. And until then, have a good evening, and I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Thank you.